We've been hunting for bait, man. Bait was elusive tonight. We here. Getting baited up. Can everybody hear me? There we go. Let me know if you can hear me. Hey Liz, can you hear me? It's working. All right. What's up? What's up? Sounds good. All right. I got Jeremy from Jeremy Tournament Cast back there. He's up, baiting up. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> We've been hunting the bait, man. Looking for some brimskis. I'm gonna get um help him get some baits out, and then I'll come back and we can chitty to chat. If you don't mind, share it out. Appreciate it. We got chicken, we got bluegill, um, and other panfish, and we have some um, American shad. And we're gonna use that later. This front anchor done got loose. You gonna put one back here? Yep, put two out there. I forgot to ask, does it look good too? Does it look good? Check out that sunset. That look awesome. Thumbs up. All right. What's up, y'all? Set 
This ain't gonna be good moving it for a second? Give me a second. Okay. He gonna grab his overalls real quick. What's up, y'all? Up close and personal. I got bug spray right there. It's that hooks and hammocks bug spray that he told me to buy. I don't know how we're gonna keep these lines tight. Keep going loose. Yeah. What's up everybody? That's a cool shirt. Yeah, check it out. There's my wife. Got 33 people in with 14 thumbs up. Rondell, Christopher Corners in the house. Back this up a little bit so we can get a little more. So we got eight rods off the front. And we're going to have three off the back, three or four off the back. So if we don't catch something, we're going to look pretty bad. <laughs> Two stands, Larry Oliver. Nineteen thumbs up. We're on Lake Moultrie. Pontoon Jody hooks and hammocks. Uh, right there in front of me is the uh, the lock system for Santee Cooper Dam. And we're sitting in about ten foot of water right now, and right in front of us is a thirty-five foot drop. While wow, I'm like watching two live streams at once, trying to spread the love. Thanks, D. Hey, Stevens. Just waiting for the monster to come. What's up, pork chop? Got 40 people, 22 thumbs up. Yep, he just asked me if that's new line. Yep, uh, almost all my rods now are spooled with braid. If you watch my last video, I'm getting tired of getting slapped in the hand and busted open by my mono dragon fishing. So uh, I don't want to really decrease my leader strength any. 
So I got some 80 pound braid and I went down to 50 pound monofilament leader. Uh oh, uh oh. That must be you shaking the, shaking the boat. How's everybody doing tonight? Big mats in the house. It's quiet out here. <sighs> Better now. <laughs> yeah, a new PB would be nice, but we're just, we just want some, uh, some fish. Don't really matter how big they are. We, uh, you know, I had the thing set for seven, but we're trying to find some, uh, some panfish, man. That's heavy duty fishing gear. You're ready for a monster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got all these big rods and thick line and big hooks. I'll probably catch catfish like this small. <laughs> But I'm just going to be live for a little bit, y'all, a couple hours, and then Jeremy's going to go live, and he's going to entertain you all night. And I'm going to sit back and relax. We got Martin from the UK in the house. What's up? Boom, 199 super sticker chicken gravy. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. The lake was rough this morning. Shady Grady said it was rough this morning. I bet it was, yeah. Mike Williams, what's up? Good luck. Thank you. It's nice out here. It's going to get chilly tonight. I can already tell you. Kevin, we beat the banks on the way to our fishing spots for bait fish. Yeah, we beat all the banks over here for about a boom, $4.99 Tennessee Fishing Adventures. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, I got an echo. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's going to be fun. We're going to be echoing booms all over the place. Yes, boom. <laughs> Y'all see Jeremy got hooked up with some Palmetto Cats gear. There we go. Y'all look at that. Uh-oh, freshness, freshness. Got the shirt on. Roger Anderson. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yep, that's right. Two stands. You don't see it? Yeah, as soon as you said that y'all uh, y'all had a merch link, I jumped right on there and bought one. I wanted to be the first one to sport it. Uh oh, got a little tug going on. We need a slammer. I heard boom here in Illinois. What? What's up, heroes? What's up, Raymond? We just threw baits out. We're sitting in a 10 foot of water and right in front of us is an, a, a big drop off and it goes down to 35 foot of water. So we got baits on throwing the shallow on the side, all down the wall, down in, in the, uh, the, the canal. What's up water girl? No, we just threw in baits. Hopefully one will slam down here in a second. That was the first. Sweet. Motor Red! <laughs> What's up, Mark? Not. What's up, Dad? Jeez, Dad. Put on a shirt. Gosh, Megan's coming over. <laughs> oh. It's been a while since I've been live. I think it was at least like three or four weeks ago. I was floating down the canal right, right below this dam here. 
and caught two fish. One of them was decent size, one about 15 pounds. That's pretty good. That light looks really good on you right there. Yeah, oh yeah, it's bright, man. It's nice. So I got the, um, the setup. I got two filming lights right here above us. And then I got the uh, Compex light. I'll show you. Compex light up there. Ooh, look at the moon in the plane right there. That's interesting. And then I got these on a on a steal of a deal from Amazon. Just little desk lamp, desk lights. Woo, that's bright. Well, now I undid it. There we go. Make me a little nervous because it's on the edge of the boat right there, but. <laughs> So we got lights. Yeah, we're still pretty good though. We're not moving. We're not moving too much. Yeah, the wind's actually blowing from over here now. Mm-hmm. You just did, Stan, said Rondell Perry. 53 people watching. 37 thumbs up. Mark not Aaron Leo and using any white perch. No, we haven't put out the perch rod. Um Oh, there he goes. There he is. Get him. Fish on, y'all. Fish on. All right. That's old red. Where's Mike Marillo? There we go. Is he on there? That's that ripping lips rod. Take your time, man. Enjoy him. Enjoy him. What's up, squirrel? That's in the shallow water, wasn't it? On chicken, too, man. On chicken. Need a net? Hang on a second. I got you. Oh, that's a heavy one. Nice, man. Oh, you got the next one. Then. That's a heavy one for his size. <laughs> Here, that's your fish. Come oh, back yeah, and get him. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you make me do all the work. <laughs> hey, he caught the fish, right? He's got to do the work. You want the grippers? Uh, yeah, maybe. Might need a flyer. Might need a flyer. Yeah, he slammed the pool out of that thing. There you go. Yeah, he wasn't coming off of there. That hook went all the way through his lip. Yeah, I would put it in this rod holder over here. That way it's away from all them hooks and stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Skunk's off the boat. He'll bring the fish up here in the light as soon as he gets it unhooked. Whoop, whoop. That's not a bad start, right? 17 minutes into the stream. He's a nice sized one, too. 15 pounds, maybe. What you think? 15, whatever. Whatever, no big deal. You know, just feed a whole family, that's all. What's up, Haz? Got the first fish in the boat back here. Jeremy pulled him in. Shallow water, about eight foot back there. Eight foot on chicken, just plain piece of chicken. Slammed it down. I wish y'all could have seen that takedown. Ripper lips rod held it, held it pretty good. All right, he's gonna come up front. Come up front and show him off. Here's this one, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, nice little one there. Yeah. There we go. Skunk is gone. Motor red. <laughs> Woo -hoo! There we go. <laughs> there you go. Skunk's off. Pressure's off. We can uh, stop fishing now. <laughs> <laughs> the fish has been so bad around here, man. Larry DeLong said, Purdy. Put some more chicken on there. Put some more chicken on there. Kevin, lo I love that shirt. Yep. Excellent picture. Oh, good. See all the lights, man. Yeah. Chris Flores said, excellent picture. 
hopefully it'll stay that way. I got a, I got two filming lights right here, and I got a light right over here on the on the um, rail, and I got a big convex light up top. I didn't backlash this when I threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> that was old red. I don't know if Marillo's in here, but he knows old red. That reel, that reel's uh, always, always good. Always good to me. Yeah, that braid is smooth, man. Yeah, yeah. You can move that crate if you want. I'd put it up on that gray box. Because you're going to trip once it starts getting dark. And you're going to take a ploochie. <laughs> Right into wild. Wild. All right, that's fish number one. My turn. Yeah, that's that um, Rippin' Lip Super Cat. It's one of their cheap rods. They're um, nothing special. A ploochie, not a poochie, a ploochie. That's the sound the water makes when you when you jump in. How long you been around, Hazzy? You don't know that? Come on. What's up, James? No real loss. Boom, boom, boom. And if you're new, you just stumbled into the stream. And you're like, what the crap am I watching? Uh, then uh, oh, Uncle Lou's right had a little dip in it. Yeah. Something's tapping the Uncle Lou's rod. I don't like that, though. I don't like it because I want it to go womp. Timbalina. I hope it ain't no daggum turtle. That's pretty deep for a turtle to be down there. 37 foot. Fishing local, what's up? Rams, what's going on? Yep, yeah, we just got a fish in. Hit on the back rod in about eight foot of water. We wouldn't have, I mean, we threw the back rods out just because. <laughs> just because we, we got them, you know. I got 13 rod holders on the boat, and I said, let's try to put one in every, every holder. You still got a holder back there. <laughs> we need one for the net. One for the net. There's a weight right there, two weights. Yeah, man, do it. Do it, do it, do it. What's the bait? We, uh, well, that one caught. That one was caught on chicken, but we have uh, brim, and then I have some. Uh, I'll show you what I got. That right there is called an American shad. About three pounds of bait. We don't have any of that on the hook right now, though. No real loss. Boom, 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 boom. Beck's taking full advantage of the boom squad emojis. <laughs> turn around and these rods are shaking that mu it must be us like walking around what the fish snatcher look like a carp yeah <laughs> it is pretty big oh that uncle Lou's rod is getting tapped 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 that's a great cut bait yeah only problem is, is it gets mushy, but I think because it's nice and cool today, maybe it won't get so mushy. Oh. Big cat fever just got hit. Is that a white rod? Yep. Oh, Come on, blue cat rod. Got the blue cat rod right there. That's Jeremy from Jeremy's Tournament Cats. We went fishing together on Monday. If you hadn't seen the video I put out yesterday. That's him in that video. We went out Monday. We didn't tear it up, but we, we caught five fish. And then he went out 
when did you go out the other night? Uh, I think it was Wednesday night. Wednesday night, and it really didn't hit the fish, so we're like, gum. <laughs> so, it seems, oh, yeah, it's hitting it again. Look at that. Uncle Something down there on the Uncle Lou Rod. Yep, Anna's birthday is on the 14th. We are anchored and thrown out. I usually don't try to drag at night or drift at night, but tonight might be an excellent time to. A nice light wind. We'll see. I'm hoping we don't have to. I'm hoping we can stay right here and tear them up. We already got a fish in the boat the first 17 minutes. Actually, we didn't even have lines in. Boom! Five dollars! You're supposed to put brim in cornmeal, not on a hook. <laughs> Motoring. Where's Chris Flores? Come on, Blue Cat Rod. Come on, Blue Cat Rod. If you came in a little later, I, uh, I've taken the mono off the most of my rods. I'm waiting on some more braid to come in, but I'm tired of breaking off. Shanti said, Kevin, you left me at the dock. <laughs> Boom, $2. No real loss. There's a monster out there. Hope you find it. I think you catch all the monsters, Bex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all, all, the monsters you put back caught all the other monsters. And they say, hey, monsters, don't be biting no hooks. And so, like, nobody's going to catch no more monsters because you done told all the monsters. Monster said, give me my Shree Fitty. <laughs> Check that out, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's awesome. Bo Barrett, what's up? Boy, you a fool. <laughs> Ma said, you can get mushroom foodie. Dobson, Steve Mosley, what's up? Mike Chavez. Yeah, we got all, all the lights. We got lights everywhere, guys. Joe Ziegler's a nice South Carolina sunset. Yep. Y'all can see how bright that light is when Jeremy got his face close to it. <laughs> Check out uh, Jeremy's links in the description, y'all. I'm going to go live um, for a little... Oh, man. Something's down there tearing that bait up. On that Uncle Lou's rod, y'all. Every time I turn around, it goes. Tut, 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 tut. I wonder if there's a little perch down there tearing it up. That might be. Put that rod in, that rod Big D TV. What y'all usually got for bait? Well, we got brim today, uh, like panfish. Some of them are bluegill. Some of them are pumpkin seed. What's good dreams? What's up? And then uh, Jeremy dressed for a battle. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> It's supposed to be a little chilly tonight for us South Carolinians now. They yeah, wear this at the house sometimes. <laughs> His wife don't let him buy real clothes. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we got brim and chicken and some American shad. We got one fish in the boat. If you're just coming in, about 15 pounds right off the back rod. Old red on the ripping lips. Super cat. But yeah, Jeremy's going to go live. We, we discussed this. I was like, well, you know, we could both go live, but then you'll be split in the audience. And so I was like, you know, I'm more of a daytime to night person. And he fishes like until like three in the morning, some crazy stuff like that. <laughs> so I was like, that's probably when your audience will be there. So we're going to continue this live on his channel. So make sure you got his channel links in the description. Halo, Halo, what's up? Now make sure you hit the thumbs up. Thanks, Big D TV. Tight lines, he said. Jeremy ready for tuna. <laughs> What's up, FLF Fox? I saw FLF Fox, uh, when was that? Uh, not this past, yeah, it was this past Friday, down on the river. He had fancy gear. He had, um, he had the live scope. And he was just riding up on catfish and dropping jello chicken on her head and catching them. <laughs> I, was like, I can't hang with that, man. I can't hang with that tech. I guess I'll have to move on then. 
What do you mean, Mark? He's laughing at something. I'm subscribed. No Walmart bait? Nope. Nope, no Walmart bait on this trip. <laughs> FLF Fox said, shh, don't tell everybody. I'm about to reel up this Uncle Lou's rod. Something's down there tearing it to pieces. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me get my face out the way. Can y'all see that Uncle Lou's rod dipping? Something's down. Got enough rods out. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're down there tearing it up. You can tell when you got little perch or little catfish down there eating, cause your bait comes back looking like brains, like mushed up brains. I back 80 people 60 thumbs up Sean start packing I'll meet you halfway <laughs> there's always room on the Potomac plenty of fish for everyone Sean what is Sean whining about Mike Chavez posting Jeremy's link thank you on the bottom tonight or using floats bottom isn't it very cool to see Palmetto Cats live? Doesn't he look happy and relaxed? <laughs> Thanks, Alan. <laughs> I'm relaxed now that we caught a fish. <laughs> Good rod spread. Yeah, we got eight across the front. And now we got three across the back. So 11 rods, man. We better, we better start tearing them up. That's all I got to say. Where are we moving, Mark? I got a truck and a trailer. Man, what's going on? You guys moving in with each other? Dude, you did, I didn't get a notification. I can't help that. Smooth, yeah, it's pretty, it's, I mean, it's pretty smooth, yeah. Palmetto House, you moving to my house? Forgot about the curveball, Ricky, give him the heater. <laughs> Forget about the curveball. This is one nice seat right there now. Oh yeah, that, that seat is luxury right there. <laughs> Oh, no, I gotta mute y'all for a second. It didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. False alarm. It's beautiful out here, though. Motoring. <laughs> What's your price? Love the two stand shirt. Thanks, me too. Just got it yesterday. People say there's no God, only God can make beautiful sunset. That's right. Well, what's even cooler is you got the a crescent moon up there with the North Star. Let's see if I can get it on camera. On camera. You need a moon right there. You got the North Star right there. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I saw that, Mo. <laughs> Rookie. I see it. 
Anywhere but Illinois, Sean, yeah. Oh, we got another tuner with some LEDs coming by. I need to I need to be cool and get some LEDs on my boat. Beautiful weather. It is really nice out here. Jeremy's probably gonna fall asleep sitting in that chair. <laughs> and the Compact Star, yeah. <laughs> get the Compact Star. I need a blue cat rod to go down. Blue cat rod's been letting me down lately. I got the other one at the house, and uh, because I I switched reels, I put the six thousands on the blue cat rod instead of the five thousand PC fun. I ran out of braid. I ran out of braid. Now my reel is bare for the first time. Jeremy said this is the spot. He said this is the spot we're going to catch 20 catfish right here. <laughs> I don't know about that. He also told me the other spot over there was where the where the uh, panfish were, and that didn't happen either. <laughs> That's right. We only caught about 10 brim. Is this where you and your friend were the other day? Yeah, we were close to that. So, you know, we came over this way the other night, and... Nothing. Mmm. Mmm. You'll never know. Got 82 people in. 63 thumbs up. Wings just arrived. Oh, man. Fishing the Mid-South and thinking about subbing. What do you fish for? <laughs> uh, dreams. We fish for dreams. <laughs> Art said, Bex, what, what kind of wings? <laughs> That's it. Everybody's done now. We're, we're on food again. Bex brought up food, and that's that we're, we can't focus no more now. You know what I need to do? I need to turn this other filming light the other way so that when we get a takedown in the back, let's see if I can do it without messing everything up. How's that look? Yeah, check it out. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. All right, we're back. And we're back. Mark Tennessee River near London. Yeah. Easy. Oh, 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 oh. Take down, take down, take down. I'm coming. Is the camera on? I think so. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Gotta turn on that filming light. Press the center button on that filming light. I think he's taking off or he's running towards me. Hey, you're looking good, man. You got plenty of light back there. Oh yeah, he's on. Fish on! Fish on! Motor red, all red. There he is. Same rod. Get I in. can't get a net man or nothing, y'all. I'm coming up. I can't get nothing. Come out here, let the man on my boat, <laughs> try and promote his channel. He can't even net a fish for me. There we go. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Chicken. chicken fish, chicken fish. All right, y'all, fish two. Fish two, a little smaller. Maybe a six pounder. 
Happy to have them. That's the same rod. And we need to turn the whole boat around. <laughs> Just fish right off that side. Same exact rod. Back right hand corner. Chicken. Old red with pink. Pink. Um, what, do they, what do you call that? Braid. Pink braid <laughs> on the ripping lips rod. All right. Here we go. Back alive. Hey, got two though, man. Yep. Good start. Right. And neither one of them hit our hard caught bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> they only want the store bought chicken. Man, that light's on its lowest setting. That's crazy. Wow, that's that's a good light right there. Okay. I was about to say it's a little bright on my face, but that's as low as it goes. All right, two fish. 85 people in the house, 70 thumbs up. You got 13.98 in Super Chat. That's awesome. Where'd you cast that? I was just pulling it back over there. Straight that way? Yeah. I might try to get this rod closer over there. Make sure it's got chicken on it. That's really shallow. Yeah. You just don't never know where they're at, you know? Yeah. You get a foot, two foot. Especially around here, man. One day they're here, one day they're just not. These fish be tripping around here. <laughs> These fish be tripping. We got two fish in the boat. All the people over there probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay with being seen with me? Yeah, okay. Motor red. They're like, that guy, listen, that guy needs some help. He said something about his motor. His motor's not running. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 oh, there he is. Oh, oh, get him. Oh, oh, oh. I'm right down on him for you. There he is. No, he's on there. He's on there. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Get him, Jeremy. Get him, son. Get him. That's all right. Listen, any fish caught on the live stream is a good fish. Don't you watch Dieter Melhorn? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you watch Dieter. He's reeling them in. Is that another one in shallow water? Oh, that's a flathead. Oh, that was deep too. Hang on, let me get a net. We don't want to lose that one. I mean, we don't want to lose any of them, but. Y'all, this is the first flathead caught on a Palmetto Cats live stream. Nice, nice. That's definitely going to get a motor in. He's a motor in for sure. <laughs> yeah. Just on my head, that thing went down. He ain't good. Got him. Good job, dude. Nice. It's a little flathead, but... First flathead caught on the stream, y'all. He did not want to be hooked either. He was jerking the fool out of that thing. First flathead on the live stream. Come on up, bring him up close. Turn him up sideways. Wow, he's really light. Yeah, he's, a, he's really light, isn't he? Look at that, y'all. He is pretty. He's bleeding too. Yeah. 
Had him right in his lip, yep, right there. There you go. First flathead on the Palmetto Cats live stream. Jeremy got him. Did I tell you to bleed? I didn't say you could bleed. <laughs> I tell you when to bleed, son. Does my net make my fish look small? <laughs> that net made that fish look small. You should put a live bait out there. Yeah. If there's flatheads out there. There you go. And then show the camera before you put it out. Show him on the hook. So they believe you. Got 91 people in. You catch fish, people come watch. I'm what? Cut, what? I'm a, cut him up. Are you gonna cut him up? Sorry, y'all. He don't want to put a live bait on. Was that on the? He, you caught him on the cup, cup bluegill. Cool. My nephew just said, "Oh, palmetto." That was deep too. Deep. It had to be 40 foot. 30 Sweet. Foot deep flathead. You said to hook on him good though. Caught him right where he's supposed to. Dina Diaz, outdoors with Dave. We got three fish in the boat now. Got about a 15 pound blue cat. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> 15 pound blue cat, probably a six pound blue cat. And I don't know, it's like a four pound flathead, something like that. Yeah. Don't really matter, but what's up, big skip? If anybody's just stumbling into this fishing stream said oh that looks interesting i'm kevin that's jeremy um we're catching catfish on lake moultrie in santee cooper south carolina we're anchored in about 10 to 8 to 10 foot of water and off the front of the boat we're throwing into what could go down to a 40 foot hole and then um on the back we have a couple rods thrown out in about 8 to 10 foot of water and two of the four, the three fish have come in the shallow water, which is very interesting. Um, now that could mean that those fish are traveling up out of here into that shallow water to feed, or maybe they're coming down into the deep water. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but it makes sense. I'm going to recast these rods. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, that one you're going after. That one looks like it was getting. Hit on earlier. I like this Hellcat a lot more. I put this lighter reel on it. I took that Akuma off of it. What's up, y'all? What y'all doing? How y'all doing? So you just hit the chat right here whenever to mm -hmm. see it or what? See um, the chat? So you just... Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Oh, too far. All right. Yeah, it looks different in StreamYard, don't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh this is from through uh, YouTube? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now, she's trying to get a big one now. I'm ready. <laughs> ready? I'll take a small flathead. Yeah, that'd be cool. I haven't caught a flathead all year. Hopefully, the next bite's a big one. That was a little shallow already. I'm surprised that them two front rods over there hasn't been touched. We'll go through there.
Come on, Blue Cat Rod. Jeez. <laughs> That's a dent in the side of the boat right there. All right, I'm going to launch this one. There's a fish right there, right in that spot. <laughs> hey, he was right earlier. Still ain't deep. That's shallow. It's right there on the. Maybe it's right there on the hump. Yeah, I hope we can get a big old takedown, man. That'd be nice. That first takedown back there, your first fish, that was a pretty nice yeah, that one. Was, that one was nice. Ninety-two people in here. Eighty-four thumbs up. We already got some money too, thirteen ninety eight. Thanks, y'all. Y'all are the bomb. I keep hearing that that wire hit the rail, and I think it's a rod going over. <laughs> Ryan Boards, blue collar catfish or blue collar fishing. There's two old vets. He was live earlier today. Has Amy caught any turtles yet, y'all? Amy caught the turtle princess. She caught any? Lights are doing pretty good, I think. It's dark in the back, but I do have I do have two more of these. So if you want one, you can have one. Oh, I didn't bring it with me. Okay. But I have two more at the house, and they come with little gels. They came in a three pack. I think it was like twenty dollars for three of them. Dude, that'd be sweet. You can have one, and um, I just run it off this battery pack right here. That's it. Uh, gig ability, Palmetto, did you borrow them lights from the football stadium? <laughs> Shh. Don't turn on nobody. What's up, David Hamilton? Look like you really need it. <laughs> All right. Come on. Got three fish in the boat. Come on, catfish. I'm good. We can pack up and go home. We got three fishing. Y'all, the fishing has been so bad for me lately, and especially the live fishing. I've caught some when I'm filming videos, but live fishing, I think I had two skunk streams last month. I don't know. It was, it was crazy. I'm just, I was so sick of not catching fish. But it's cooled down a lot. The water's a lot cooler. And I don't know if you if you saw the video I put out yesterday. Jeremy and I caught two males that were still spawned out. I mean, like scrawny, heads busted up, fins busted up. Somebody commented on it and said that the males will stay on the nest as long as the females keep coming back and laying eggs. So they don't actually come off. They don't actually come off the nest until the females are done coming back. So the females will leave 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 a, a pouch of eggs with them go eat and then then they'll come back and put more eggs on the nest got one hidden blue cat rod, blue cat rod? that line was moving now ah blue cat rod can't catch no fish ain't that right chris flores <laughs> let's see those were marks from your sinkers hitting them in the head <laughs> You have one five pound channel Monday. That's all you caught? Oh. We we did better. We caught four that were in the at least ten pounds. Oh yeah. Eight to ten, maybe a little more. We got three, hun. We got the first one that's sixteen or sixteen, fifteen pounder. We got an eight, a six pounder, and a flathead. You missed it. First flathead on, on the stream. We had lightning and some rain this morning, so I wonder how the fishing will be tomorrow. You're in California, right? It's still daylight where you're at. You can go back and watch it. Jeremy caught a flathead right there off of... No, come on. That rod. <laughs> Chunky, 99 cent sprinkle. Thanks, Chunky. Glad you found your boat. <laughs> yeah, man. 
That'd be fine. My butt would have been swimming. I would have went swimming, no doubt about it. I would have jumped in. Bex, I caught about a half hour of your stream last night. You're asking for it, Ryan. What did Ryan say? Maybe if you sing, the fish will bite. Motoring! <laughs> you know, I don't mind singing. Chris, that won't be the problem. Uh, the shadow will cut you. Hey, look who's live. Hope you get... Hope you get some tight lines tonight, homie. Thanks. Shady Grace. What's up, Chunky? Boom! $10! Give this to Jeremy if he sings motoring. <laughs> <laughs> Two of us said, OMG, no! Jer Jeremy, uh, he, he, um, you were live on Wednesday night. And... I was I was going to bed and I jumped in chat real quick, and I said I heard if you sing they'll come, <laughs> and so he didn't sing. But when he said well, I think we're gonna go motor into another spot, I was like I heard it, <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I, heard it. <laughs> I heard him. We need a take. Boom! Ninety nine cents, chunky again. He sprinkled train in it. Thanks, Chunkster. Palmetto Cats, good evening, El Presidente. What's up, Steve? I learned long time ago, Bex, need rest to function. That's right. That's right. I plan on doing that tomorrow. I told Jeremy, I said, we can either go Friday night or we can go tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to film a video that I've been holding off or been uh, not holding off, just procrastinating. Bill Russell, what's the light behind you? That is the uh, locks. I bet you could duet Tennessee whiskey music. <laughs> I don't think Jeremy likes to sing, you know. I don't know. I don't know if I can sing. Got 102 people in. 90 thumbs up. If you're just coming in, if you said, that looks like a cool thumbnail and somebody's fishing live, I want to check it out. I'm Kevin, and we do this from time to time. If you don't mind, uh, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I promise you'll have a good time. Chunky said, let's go, friends. Let's get Palmetto to 20 bucks. Most of you can afford 99 cents. Thanks, Chunky. Be back. All right, vets. See ya. We're getting spoiled now. We've had we've had three fish, and <laughs> <laughs> I paid for motoring. I'm telling you, he's right there. <laughs> motoring. Oh, uh, I owe Jeremy ten dollars <laughs> now. <laughs> Ninety nine cent chunky sprinkling up. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Who is that? Hooks and hammocks, twenty dollars. Thanks, man. You have to do that. Boom! Motoring. What's the price for play? I'm waiting for somebody over at the campground to start singing. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing cat, what's going on? You heard it, Bex. I owe him ten bucks. Oh, the Hellcat got hit. Come on, Hellcat. Thank you, Bex and Hooks. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Russell, uh, the bait, we have chicken and brim on the hook right now. Yeah, we got three fish. We got a 16-pounder. I keep saying 16. Maybe, it's, maybe it is 16. Maybe it's 30. Maybe it's 30. No. <laughs> it was brought about 15 pounds, and then we got a about an 8-pound blue cat, and then Jeremy caught the first flathead on my live stream that I've ever caught. You almost hit that note, Kevin. Very nicely done. Muchas gracias, senor. DNR is going to roll up on you and see what that singing is all about. <laughs> That's okay. Jeremy just uh, renewed his fishing license, yeah, so we're, we're good. We're good. 
We got life jackets. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. 106 people. What's up? Chunky with another 99. Boom. Chunky is sprinkle training me. Thank you, buddy. I hear somebody out there searching for fish. Shh. Don't tell him we caught a few. Lewis Howard. Go down, Poles. I'm telling you, man. We've had one on the front and that same ripping lips rod has gone down twice. The first takedown was the best one. Chris from Hooks and Hammocks, my wife bought two bottles of that bug spray and I sprayed it on my legs and I'm doing good. Now there's not, you don't, I don't feel any biting bugs right now, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Aaron, Mama has. Thank you, Mama has. Say good luck tonight. We trying. We trying. Who hadn't hit the thumbs up? We're at 99. 10 to 1, your flares are out of date. I don't have to have flares on this boat. It works good for us. Awesome. I said something about biting bugs, and I think I just felt a bite. Of course. I didn't put any spray on my arms, though. Tree 3B fishing. What's up, pal? I'm doing good, man. Jeremy and I are out here trying to slay some catfish. We got three so far. Two blues and a flathead. On Santee Cooper, Lake Moultrie. That's the... Um, the Pinopolis locks right there. If you go through those gates, it looks like a Jurassic Park when it opens and you go down, down to the river. I'll go down to the river and pray. <laughs> Singing about them good old days. Mario Sanchez from South Carolina. What's going on? Sanchez. The stream looks crystal clear like 1080p. Yes. Well, we we I've invested. I haven't I've had these lights. But I've decided that, you know, we're coming out here. What kind of line? Um, well, let me tell you about the light. So chunky, I got this one. I got three of these. Right here. There's still I like desk desk lights. I'm not gonna look at it because it's gonna blind me. Woo! So I got one of them on the rail and I have this filming light right here if everybody wants to see. It's a little square filming light. I got, actually had two of them up there. I got one facing backwards. And then I have the compacts light, of course, up there, shining bright like a diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. How is Lake Hartwell fishing? I don't know. I've never fished Lake Hartwell. I've driven a boat in Lake Hartwell, but I've never fished in Lake Hartwell. I think this needs to come out a little bit. There we go. Looks awesome. Thank you. Chunky appreciates crisp, clear live streams. And so do I. Hopefully it sounds good. I got a new dongle and it said that the it wasn't supported. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's a classic good one. Get him up on that. Oh yeah, he's pulling drag. There you go. There we go. Oh, he's pulling drag. There you dude. go. Woo! Motor red. <laughs> I got it. I don't even know if it's on that one. I have to really throw the lines out the way. Oh yeah, he's going across all the lines. Oh, nope, nope, go, go over me. Go over me. Other way, other way, go behind me. Reel them lines up. Good fish on, y'all. Good fish. Yeah, he's slow. He took it down. Oh, oh, yeah, he got a good one. He's peeling drag, y'all. Yeah, it might be a I don't remember. This is a flat. It's got to be a flat. He's not rolling. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, man. Got a rod hopper. Too low. 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 Too
Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all, we hooked up now. Yep, let's go. Uncle Lou Rod. Can I see it? Can I... Oh, yeah. Do you want to walk, walk in this way? To the anchor yeah. rope? Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. He's running again. Right, you're going to have to come on this side of me. There we go. It's a good fish, y'all. It's a real good fish. That's all right. Just go ahead and reel it up, man. Definitely a flathead. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Classic takedown. He's brown. It's a blue, y'all. I thought it was a flathead for sure. Nice, man. He ain't, even, up, bro. he ain't even as big as I thought he was, man. Nice. Acted just like a flathead, though. Yeah. Exactly. Didn't roll. No head shakes. Nothing, man. That's so weird, bro. Back him up a little bit. Hit on chicken. Yeah, this is the one that they were pecking on. Yep, yep. That's on chicken again, y'all. Plain chicken. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely weigh him. I thought he. What's up, Chance? I thought he was a big flathead. Yeah. He's probably probably a thirty class blue. We'll weigh him. Let me get the scale. I hate to sound disappointed. I just thought it was a big flathead. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I tell you what, he was fun on that medium rod. Too. He was fun on that medium action rod for sure. I moved us out of the way to get the sling. A little piece of chicken too, man. Here, let me go ahead and tear the sling. Yeah, I definitely thought it was a flathead though. I, I could have swore yep. it was a flathead. Because yep. oh, yeah, he didn't roll. roll or nothing. He slow he lit that. Maybe he maybe he identifies as a flathead. <laughs> there we go. There you go. We don't use kilograms here. Alright.
Sorry, guys. Give me a second. All right, it's been t torn, I guess you could say. He's probably, he's gotta be upper 20s, 30, I'd say. Let me him out for you. Nine five. Nice, man. Almost, almost, almost nice. thirty. Twenty nine five, and that's with the uh, sling tore teared off. Good one, good one. If that was a flathead, that'd be my PB flathead. Oh, my PB flathead's a, a twenty eight. Let's see if he's gonna tear me up. Ah, yep. We'll try to. Ugh. Yeah, there, there we go, y'all. There we go, a slime stand shirt. There he is. His dorsal fin is huge. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get him back in the water. All right, fish number four. That was a good one, nice takedown and everything. There you go, Stan. I don't know if Stan's in here, but Palmetto Cat's first one to slime the two Stan shirt. Other than, other than Stan. A little piece of chicken too, y'all. That's it, just a little piece of chicken. That's all it was. Got 143 people in there now. <laughs> 112 thumbs up. Good fish, man. Yeah. Ah, I wish he was a flathead. <laughs> <laughs> I think when he wasn't a flathead, I was like, ah. Yeah, I never seen him. I was like, oh, man. Well, I don't know that medium rod though. I think that's what made him feel bigger than yeah. it was. Good takedown, man. Oh, yeah. that was so good. Very good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna put a live bait out there. Now I really want a flathead. <laughs> Whenever I do a live, a live bait, I always listen for the second splash in case I throw him off. I guess it's my turn now, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I jumped up. I was like, oh, it's my turn. I was like, wait a minute. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get off my He's fish! Like, Get out of here! Get off my fish! <laughs> Sit back down now. Sit back down, baby. <sighs> <laughs> Pause for station identification. <laughs> 135 people in the house. 119 thumbs up. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Got $52. I don't know if we missed any super chats. Let me go back. Way back. Way back. What a screamer. Uh, welcome to Jurassic Carolina. Thanks, Bex, for the $5. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Thanks, y'all. Are you farting? No. Gosh. Come on. I wouldn't dare do that. <laughs> Just like Jeremy would never sing. Yeah, I never would. <laughs> they had a song in the fish that day. He did. Hey, listen, Jeremy sang and the fish started biting. I'm just saying. Hey, or no, not the big fish started biting. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. No. <laughs> let's, let's hang on there. Let's <laughs> slow down there now. Good stuff, Palmetto. Back to dock fishing in Florida. Got to enjoy the trip. Tight lines. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Dobson said, are you sure? I guess you'll never know. That big boy has some sharp teeth. He just bit down a little bit and got me. Better to come out the front door than the back, just saying. <laughs> Bill Russell said, nice. JR said, well, to eat, wait till he gets home, Anna. I tell you what, Anna made some awesome chicken strips. There's your wife. What's up, Jennifer? Uh, Jeremy caught the first flathead on a Palmetto Cats live stream. Dobson said, I smell it. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, he who smelt it dealt it. There you go. <laughs> Watching split screen, Ewan's a three plus one. Great entertainment. Awesome. How's it going? Nice. Well, we got four fish in the boat. Jeremy caught the first one on the back rod. It was about 16 pounds. Uh, I keep saying 16. That fish is destined to be 16. Yeah, 16. I don't know why. But uh, it's really, it was really about 13 to 15 pounds, but we didn't weigh it. Got another one? Yeah. Green rod there in the middle. Uh oh. Oh no, no, y'all just. Yeah. That's the live bait. Oh, it's live. Okay. Yeah, that's the live bait. And uh, so then, then we caught another one on that same rod, about eight pounds. And then Jeremy caught a little three-pound flathead off the front rod here, off to my right. Your left, and then, um, and then I just caught a 29 and a half pound blue cat, which fought like a 50 pound flathead all the way. <laughs> I really, I hate to be, I, I'm not disappointed at the fish at all, but when you're, when it fights like a flathead, it was pull and drag, no head shakes whatsoever. Um, I don't know when it, when that thing, I saw the big, the big dorsal fin, and I was like, that's a blue cat. I was like, dang, you might get a gar. Lewis, don't don't you dare put that on us. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't man. do that to us. Come on, man. They will show up. My wife hit forgot to hit the thumbs up. Well, Jennifer, make sure you hit the thumbs up. All because Jeremy's wearing a Palmetto shirt. <laughs> I told you I'm the only one the shirt's not lucky for, so maybe that's what it is. I do have a two stand shirt on. And I don't think I don't think Stan was here to witness it getting slimed. Jennifer said, "Hit it, hitting now." <laughs> Got 135 people watching, 130 thumbs up. If you just stumbled in here, we're fishing on a Santee Cooper Lake Moultrie and uh, South Carolina, and we've boated four fish. Biggest one was 29 and a half pounds. What's up, Mike T? 
And then uh, we got a flathead and two more blues, little blues. We're fishing with chicken. We're fishing with brim. Actually, chicken and brim are the only two right now. But we do have some uh, a big, giant American shad. I'll show you. What's up, Eric Flowers? We got a big American shad we can throw out there, too. Stan is live talking catfish. Oh, that's right. Well, tell him his shirt got slimed. I got Jeremy with me. Jeremy will be going live later. And his link is in the description if you want to check that out. Great googly moogly. <laughs> Good night so far, man. Merc and Chad, yep. That's good. That means some fish are moving through that channel. Kevin, I got Santee Drifters today. Thanks, man. Thanks, brother. Good. I'm glad you got them. Jimmy ships stuff out quick, man. Jimmy don't play. I may check him out. Jimmy lives right here in Cross, right off the lake. And he's also got a YouTube channel, too. Uh-oh. I hear something out there. A monster. Ready for that blue cat rod to double over. There's something out there hitting the top of the water. You need some eel. I mean, never, I've never tried eel out here. Have you? Uh, yeah, once. Once. Did Did you do any good? No. I've heard it's good to other people that'll catch it, you know, bring it from other places. And... Hmm. Monster. Something's out there thrashing on top of the water. Merka. <laughs> We need a take down. We need a fish to grab the hook and go for a run. That's the first real test that Uncle Luz had, Luz Rod had on my boat. Nice. They done good. Because mm -hmm. right when I got it was when the fishing started dying off. First timer, love your show. Good luck. Thanks, Chris. Welcome to the fam. Y'all welcome Chris Everett to the fam, if you haven't already. Probably an alligator, huh? Maybe. How many songs do you have going through your head at one time? You are your own soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Vets, you missed the biggest catch so far. What's up, Ogie73? We caught a 29-pound blue, almost 30, 29 and a half. He slammed that Uncle Lou's rod back behind me. Peel and drag. He went for several runs. We thought we thought he was a big flathead. That's the next one, though. That's the next one. Be a big flathead. What's up, Grayson? Oh, that's my nephew. I think. Got a red hat on. Yep. Yep. Your uncle's chilling over here in the lounge chair. <laughs> yeah, that's a fish catching kid right there now. Really? Yeah, he's lucky. Had America! Blank, had yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll step out again so you can get on another one. <laughs> I think they're just moving through here, you know, they're just cruising through. First time we're here. Uh, are you fishing or is there no wind? Are you drift? No, they're worth anchored up, Brian, and welcome. Brian Randolph. Bobby Heathcock. Kevin, what's up, brother? How's school life? Uh, I mean, we're, it's okay. We'd rather have the kids in, obviously, but, uh, you know, got to be safe. We're, we're on virtual right now. I don't like the word virtual. I like to say we're zooming right now. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do so. 
hit that subscribe button. I went fishing at Wheeler the other day and didn't realize my license was out. That's the place to go there. I'm back. What's the count now? Four, David. You probably missed the big one. We had a really good fight. It's a 29 and a half pounder on the Uncle Lou rod. Yeah, shovel head looking for a bite. Yeah, I don't care what you call it as long as it bites. <laughs> Mud cat, yellow cat, shovel head, flat head. I wish Zoom school was around when I was in. I could catfish while in school. <laughs> William Knowles said he caught a 30 pound catfish on a hook without any bait earlier this week. Man, on Lake Sinclair. Awesome. How about y'all? I've been lurking. Hog leg. Looks like y'all good tearing them up. I wouldn't say we're tearing them up, but we definitely stumbled, stumbled on a little bite here. Have you ever fished the Vanna River below Hartwell? No, sir. I always miss the good ones, said David Smith. Everybody was catfish fighting. You should do a virtual class YouTube stream while fishing. <laughs> the kids have found my channel. And so have the teachers. I walked in on a teacher showing one of my skunk live streams. I was like, if you're going to watch a video in class, at least watch a good one. Caught all of our fush on chicken today. They wouldn't bite the brim. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shady Grady is here. And he said, how many did you catch? Did you catch any big ones? We got plenty of chicken. Wouldn't bite the brim. Isn't that crazy? Hello, El Catfish Grande. Hundred and twenty five people. We got up to hundred and forty a minute ago. That's pretty good considering there's other live streams going on. Hundred and thirty seven thumbs up. Fifty two ninety four super chat. They said they got a twenty five pound and some smaller. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're up to four fish right now. Yo, Evan TV. Fire Chief showed me a pic of a flatty he caught this week on a spoon. About 25 pounder. He is a bass and striper fisher, so he doesn't care about cats. Gotcha. We caught two bass today. <laughs> I caught a bass that was about this big. And Jeremy caught one a little over hand size while we were trying to fish for brim today. Yeah, where are those chips at? Oh, right under here. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeremy hungry already. <laughs> where, my, where my chips is? Cool, William. William's been telling me he's going to teach me how to catch, catch big catfish for like a month now. I'm waiting, William. I want to see you post some videos, brother. I really want to see that blue cat rod bend over. <sighs> you anchored, so you're not motoring. Nope. We not motoring. <laughs> We're anchoring. Is the white perch bite just a springtime thing or is it good through the summer? Oh, it's really good during the summer. Just not so much this week. Or at least on this part of the lake. I usually catch my, my perch up by the, the diversion canal. They're more, seems like they're more plentiful up there. Seems to be anyway. How's three plus one doing? They caught any turtles? <laughs> or catfish? Just waiting on another submarine to swim through here. Check my Facebook account and you will see some catfish. Thanks, William. I'll check it out. William, William trolls me in my comments on my videos. <laughs> He's like, one day I'll teach you how to catch big catfish. <laughs> Like, jeez, man. Just let me just let me let me make my videos. <laughs> I know he probably means well. 
He's on Lake Sinclair down there by um, K&B Anglers. Okay, gonna have to get the pool going and how many times Kevin does motoring on each live. <laughs> I don't know, you have to go back and check how many we're up to now. Rob. Good night, everyone. Good luck, Kevin and Jeremy. Two and a half hour drive to the lake in the morning. All right. Have a good one, man. Thanks for the super chats earlier. Three plus one, no, no bites, but a bunch of laughs. <laughs> this live wouldn't count. Okay. Jeremy's back here stuffing his face. <laughs> Jeremy's a quiet guy. He really don't. Until we hook up to a fish. He really don't get too rowdy around y'all. <laughs> Mike Turner, Mike T. I'm ready for another one now. I got the itch. Yeah. We need a double. Something. Yeah. We need all of them to go now. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> and good luck with that. Catfish, 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 womping everywhere. <laughs> I want to see that, that rod with the live bait go down. Last I seen three plus one doing dad jokes. Oh Lord. Woo. Yeah, we definitely got What's up Dobby? Yeah. Dad jokes. I think I got enough died dad jokes last week. <laughs> okay, one on 11 times next live, who else? It's all good. Sometimes they bite, but fishing is very exciting and relaxing sport. Thank you. Sure is. Dennis Hodge. New name to me. What do you use to catch white perch? Well, if Jeremy will grab that rod, I'll show you. That's the one. All right, this is called a sabiki stick. And basically it's a hollow tube. And right down in there is my sabiki rig. Basically you just drop it over the side. That sabiki rig comes right out of it. And I tip it with red worms or some kind of worm right there. But you reel this up. It goes right in there. And then you don't have your, your hooks hooking you on everything. Sometimes it gets hung up on the rim like that. There it goes. Just scared all the fish away in the lake. That's it. And I just got a little at PC Fun Alloy X. I got that on there with some braid. All right, I'll put this in the back of the boat. Grab me a soda. Take down. I see. What action on that rod? Probably a good crappy rod. The one I just showed you, that's not a that wouldn't be a good crappy rod at all. That's nothing but a stiff piece of fiberglass. Just meant for using a sabiki rig, that's it. Wouldn't be no fun to catch any any uh crappy on. Um, I got it on Amazon. 
It's about sixty dollars, Shady Grady. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad I brought. Uh, you're welcome, Dennis. Uh, I brought me a, a hoodie and some pants because I knew it was gonna get chilly tonight. I want to know too. Mike, text me. Y'all talking about something else now? We need to take down. We're starting to lose them, man. You need to get out here and do some dancing or something. So. Do some moonwalking or we need some flashing lights or or something. Some dad jokes, I guess. I <laughs> no dad, no dad jokes. <laughs> y'all, Jeremy's gonna be live later. His link is in the description. Y'all make sure y'all check him out if you haven't already. Uh oh, NC Timbo fishing said knock knock. <laughs> Jennifer said Jeremy's dance move, laughing emoji. <laughs> Small town, nobody. Lucky, I wish I was out there fishing. Yeah, we are pretty lucky. I'll say that. We are fortunate that we get to come out. Who there? Knock, knock, who's there? This better be a good one. Where do the fish keep their money? <laughs> In fish banks. I thought Chris was leaving. New dance move, the fishing man. <laughs> I'm going to buy me one of those sabiki rig rod. First time I've seen those. Boo. <laughs> well, at least Jeremy has a good clean hat on now. I know, right? <laughs> no stinking Clemson hat. <laughs> when y'all coming to Georgia? I don't know. Uh, probably never. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer said riverbank. I love those orange hats. Yeah, that's the only one like that. The rest of them are a darker orange. I hear bait fish back there. That's a good sign. Yeah, I like this one. Go Clemson, said Ricky. Oh, there you go, Nick Ricky. V, Nick V. Oh, Nick V? Yeah, there you go, buddy. Sorry I ain't said anything. Just finished making dinner. Mmm, taste. Can't wait to see you and the Iron Ladies on Sunday. That's yeah, going to be fun. Still got the orange. It's nice. I like that orange. Carolina Real Screamers, what's up? She'll be live on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I need to have some things to take care of before I turn in. All right. You should definitely check out Jeremy. He's still figuring out the live stream stuff, but he catches big old fish. Most times. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, 40% time. And once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> We just caught a nice one. We caught a, a 29 and a half pounder that we thought was a, a flathead for sure. I want to catch some big cats hit the Chattahoochee in Franklin, Georgia. Joe Ziegler said, how about them dogs? What time is the face off on Sunday? It starts at 4 p.m. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's a timed event. Oh, there's Will, William again. Middle Georgia's where you'll catch some big old catfish. The dogs suck. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We're going to be fighting in the chat now. My team's better than your team. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Jeremy don't, Jeremy don't really like them dogs right now. <laughs> Roll Tide. What are you going to do? Oh. Right, I'm a Georgia fan. <laughs> Pray for the Potato River. <laughs> I We need another takedown, man. Y'all right. have a great night. I'm about to turn in. It's been a long day. Hope y'all catch some more fish. That's your wife. All right. All right, John. He See said, later, baby. good night, sweetheart. I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's all. He just said all that. He said all that. He said diamond ring in your future just because. So uh, have a great night. Yep, we will decide who is the queen of the Iron Cat Ladies Challenge on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. She's laughing. She doesn't believe me. She doesn't believe that you said that. 
I'm both a Georgia fan, Bama fan, and Texas fan, and Tennessee fan. Lewis said Lake Hartwell got some big one. Davis saying, hey, Bex. Bexy, Bexy. Boom, 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 boom. That's what I need. I just need a Frenchman on here to live <laughs> to liven up the boat. Sacre bleu. I want to hear that when you go to bed, too. You got some running shoes. Oh, wait, you already got them. <laughs> if Beck shows him that hot dog costume, it's all over. Oh, man. Lip Lake Hartwell's a good spot. Awesome. Yeah, I asked the ladies to send me a picture of them, like, with their with their best game face. And uh, she sent me a, a picture of her in a hot dog costume. <laughs> I was like, are you sure that's the one you want to use? She goes, I really love that picture. I'm like, all right. I'll give Bonnie a diamond if she wrestles another big one for me. Oh, that's that's a possibility out there in a the potato river now. Whoa, what's that? Like, we literally have UFOs. Like, they're unidentified for real. That's crazy. Can y'all see those? What is that? You know what they look like? Maybe drones, maybe? Saludos. What's up, Flavio? There's another one. Oh no, they're releasing stuff over there. I see. Those are balloons. They have something right here. They're releasing fire, fire balloons. That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> that chunky rod will never leave my side. <laughs> yeah, like them Chinese lanterns. Yeah, something like that. I wonder if there's Chinese people over there. It's a flying spider monkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. Where are the fish at? That SpaceX low orbit satellite's been put in space. <laughs> well, they're coming from the ground. They are those Chinese lanterns. I can see them now. <laughs> he got up like he's about to do something. <laughs> I hope they don't hit them trees over there pretty neat but they're playing um it's a simple kind of man that guy from ancient aliens immediately pops up in my head whenever someone says aliens superman flying around watch comment on youtube where y'all fishing we on lake motri what's up fishing chick all right honey uh, I'm not saying it's aliens, but aliens. UFO trying to see where your honey holes are at. I'll hit them trees. I'm sure you will, Dobson. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. We at IHOP. Ooh. Sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Melissa, what's up? Hey, Palmetto. Hey, Jeremy. Catching anything yet, guys? We got four fish. We had a 15, uh, an 8, a 3-pound flathead, and a 35 and a half, or 29 and a half pound blue. Caught 14 channels yesterday. Nice. Is, is it just military? We lost, is, it's for our mil, what? It's for our military. You're going to have to read, type that sentence, Chris. Any luck? Yep, we got four. I'm about to take survival camping trip and do some catch and clean. Nice. Oh, that cool. That's awesome. Yeah, we we had some good luck there the first hour and it's kind of died off. Yeah, I'm I'm doing a camping trip down here on uh on the lake in October. If anybody's interested in coming, we're camping on Church Island. 
All I gotta do is come down and, whew, excuse me. We got a place for you to park. And uh, just bring your camping gear. I'll, and your boat if you want. And we'll ferry you out to the island. Maybe Jeremy will come. Maybe he'll bring oh, yeah. his boat. Yeah, definitely. Ferry people out. It'll be like a two-night trip. I might do three nights. I might do that Thursday. We'll see. I have a long trip that weekend before. So, If y'all are interested in that my um, or any other events that I host, check out the description. Check out my website. Um, there's registration link on there. You go to news and events, and you can register for all that stuff. Right there on my website. It's October 22nd through 24th, I think. We're going to be at Hills Landing. And I met um, the owner. And he said that uh, you can park your cars there for free. And uh, he'll, he lives on campus. So, you know, he's, he'll be there watching for security. Thank you, Bex. Pee in the water. Oh, that's already been done, Joe. <laughs> like two or three times. I'm almost 40, so man, bladder doesn't hold that that long. You don't think hog leg will be healed up yet? We got a way to go. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. You're on three plus one. What's up, Chris? Fun, fun, fun till your daddy takes your catfish away. Chinese lanterns is is cool looking. I might be able to make it, but I gotta be at a wedding in Panama City. Yeah, don't miss that. Hopefully, they only get married once. That's what my dad told me. <laughs> my dad, who's been divorced twice, told me on my wedding night, or right before, he goes. Hey, I'll help you pay for the first one, but the other ones are on you. I was like, no thanks. <laughs> I, said, I said, I'm not planning on having any more, but I appreciate it. What's up, Austin D? Where's Jeremy? Man, he's down here I'm sitting on his you. tail, not doing nothing. What's up, Austin? 40 what? You're a youngster. What's Could up, it be Melissa? something for 9-11 like Memorial? Oh, that's a, that, you're absolutely, see, that's why Bex makes the big bucks. She's smart. She's smart. Yeah, I guess that could be. Hey, that is super clear. Uh huh. Yeah, man. Crystal clear 1080p <laughs> HD 4K 9000. Jennifer, if you're here, my sweet friend. I think Jennifer went to bed. Yeah, I think she just went to bed. But I think we need to recast baits. We need to move something around, do something different. Yeah. Mo yeah. <laughs> those lights might be for lost military yep there you go thanks chris that's that makes more sense yeah that does yeah he tried to type that earlier monsters are in the soft drink aisle <laughs> there's jeff there old jeff came in got 114 people watching 148 somebody just took a thumbs up away <laughs> they heard me say they heard me sing and they took the thumbs up away and they put a thumbs down oh, oh man oh. don't blame her bed sounds good <laughs> not me I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew that's okay thumbs down happen have you got your first thumbs down yet not yet not yet that's coming yeah, especially if you associate with me, it'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do, man. You can be the nicest guy in the world, yep. and people just will, will hate you because that's there's that them kind of people in the world. Good ideas at Eric Flowers. Yeah. Oh my God, how y'all? Hey now, y'all, smash that thumbs up. His singing ain't that bad. That's right. We got 153 now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Read you want to talk to them or you wanna, let's recast everything? Yeah, let's get some read throughs out here. I'm actually going to put some of this bait on. All right. Try something different. Mm. Chum the water with all that goodness. That 
don't bring him in, I don't know what will. How many pieces of that you gonna put out? Chicken's obviously been working. What do you think about a monster bait? They do it. <laughs> what was that? Is that that gate? Needle nose dark. Check this rod back here too. See if there's any no bait. bait. Yeah. Yeah, no one, bait. That one got tapped earlier. Yep. Put a little needle nose gar down there. Did you just throw a piece of brim in there? Yeah. Okay. There's two little gar down there. Very shallow out there. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's a big enough hook. I got a big hook on this one. That's not gonna work right there. No bait? Can't catch no fish with no bait. It's probably gonna drip, but I'm gonna show people. Here you go, y'all. Donkey bait. Donkey bait. <laughs> Man, that's heavy. <laughs> if this rod goes down, I'll fight you for it. <laughs> I'll find out then. <laughs> I'll fight you. No bait. That's why we ain't catching nothing, man. Well, you get pecked to death. Oh. Just a matter of time.
That's a slimy, oily, stinky bait right there. Right there, I got a hunk of that American Shad on there. What's up, Lori? Wind down to the river to play. Pray, not play. <laughs> Singing mouth in good old days. All right. Any luck? Yeah. Hey, muskrat. John Boys. Chrissy Brown. Sean T's back. Yeah, we, uh, Jeremy Collette. What's up, man? Yeah, we got, uh, we got four fish so far. The first one was about 15 pounds, blue cat. Caught on a piece of chicken. Shallow water. <laughs> um, and then, um, our second fish was about eight pounds caught on a piece of chicken, shallow water. The third fish was a three pound flathead caught in deep water. What did he bite on? Which one? The flathead. Uh, brim. Brim. He was caught on a piece of brim. And then the biggest one of the night was a 29.5 pound blue cat that hit on a piece of chicken. Slammed it. Good fight. Really good fight on that medium Uncle Lou's rod. He fought like a, um, what's up, Rick? He fought like a flathead. Rick, we're uh, sitting in 10 foot of water and we have four line, three lines in the back. And then we have, uh, we have eight rods out front some of them are shallow on the on the ledge and then we have some down in the trench about 35 foot that's where the big one came out of was the deep water uh let's see i love catching flatheads what are you set up on just a ledge i think you typed that before i said that pontoon jody's back be nice if you hit me with the cut bait bex Slap him with an eel, Bex. <laughs> so now we got three baits out. We have chicken. We have cut brim. We have uh, uh, American shad and one live bait. We have a live brim out there too. Kevin, what is the rod by the Uncle Lou's? On the right is a blue cat rod and on the left is a hellcat rod. Hellcat's got the live bait on it. And the blue cat's got the whole big head about this big <laughs> of that American shad on it. I told Jer it's Jeremy's turn to catch the next fish. But I told him if that blue cat rides to go down, I'm gonna fight him for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be a monster to take that one down, man. Oh uh, man, chat's flying now. 
Caught a 15 pound flathead on a one and a half pound white bass last night. Wow. Hello everyone. What's up, Stephen Quinley? Welcome. Uncle Jeep! The best catch was chicken in hot water with some noodles, carrots, and celery and onions. What the fish snatcher? Sounds like a great night of fishing so far. Sure is, snatcher. Uh, we got them rebated. We ready. Hellcat rod is bright. Yep. Snatcher's here. Hide your fish. <laughs> we fishing with them pot fish. Dad gum. This reaper sauce is hot. Yep. Yep, so we got eight rods out the front. We hadn't had a bite in over an hour, though. So, But we reeled in to, to recast baits, and we discovered that a lot of our baits were gone. So we definitely have some little ones down there. So glad to hear you're on them. Thank you, Lori. Um, definitely got some small, small fish down there trying to nibble at some baits. What's up? Jimmy Geiger and watching you uh, do more live streams. Um, I, I kind of stopped live streams for a couple weeks just because the fishing was bad and I'm trying to concentrate on making videos. I really like making videos. I get to be creative. Um, you know, there's so many more people that are, that are having great live streams. I mean, like chunky cats and no real loss and, you know all these all these other streams has and and uh, Mark and them, fish snatcher. There's so many awesome live streams. Jeremy started up one. He's gonna go live after me. What's up, Big Mike? Big Mike, another live streamer. So a lot a lot of live streamers. You know, I just you know. What's up, Pontoon Jody? I think I'll I'll still do uh, live streams. I'll just you know do them here here and now. You know here and then. What's up, Mike Turner? That's Chrissy Brown. Now, in the wintertime, when all you people that fish in the Midwest and, and up north go inside and stop fishing because it's too cold, I'll do a lot more live streams then, especially during the holidays. Snatcha. Snatcha's got an awesome live stream. I feel like they're so much more better at it than, than I am, too. Let's see. I don't know, man. Do good. I just need a Frenchman on here. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I need a Frenchman or a Chunky that'll just like 100, 100 uh, miles per hour the whole time. <laughs> mm. What the snap? What the fish snatcher? Got a lot of people coming in now. I think maybe some shows are over with. You got 144 people in here. Love those green rods. Yeah, so we got a, a Hellcat. And then a Tangle of a Catfish. And that's a Slime Cat. That's Jeremy's rod. We got all kinds of rods out. Yeah, man, we got Cat, we got Cat Max rods out. Uh, slime Cat. Cat. Uncle Lou. Muddy River, Big Cat Fever. We got Ripping Lips off the back. Got all kinds of roids. Roids. Got bait in the cooler. Big Mike has always got bait. I don't know. What what is what has it got to feel like to always be able to catch your bait like that? Like always. Like the James River. There's Kai Catfish. Yeah, man. We got we got one good one in. We got a, uh, we got a 29 and a half pounder. It, What's up, man? It freaking fought. Uh-oh. Let's see. Somebody going to time them out or I got to do it? Oh, look at it. I'm being... <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and get rid of them. Like, get uh -oh. rid of them. Like, we don't even need to see them no more. Just... <laughs> get them out of here. Boom! The Chad needs some fishing tips. And advice for his future loss to Brian B. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, hide them on the channel. Don't time them out. Hide them. Like, they don't need to come. They don't even come back no more. Oh, 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 oh,
Is he on there? Yep. All right. Fish on, fish on. Get him, get him. All right. There he is. Boom! Fish snatch with $5 slime t-shirt. Clean and fun. There he goes. Thanks for the super chat. Jeremy's got one on. I thought I heard something. I heard it rattling the rod holder. There you go. It's on that Cat Max rod. Nice one. Nice one? Ooh, look at him fight. <laughs> he's all right. He's a, he's a fish, man. All right, let me get the net there. Oh, I thought he was up here near the surface. Oh, that is a good one. Got him. There you go, man. Got him. He's, he's every bit of 20 pounds. There you go. All right. I'm telling you, man, moving the baits around works. I, I don't care what anybody. Push this in the rod holder. All right. Good job, bro. Here we go, y'all. 99 cents sprinkles yep we got him got him <laughs> we'll let jeremy get him unhooked and oh he's gonna bring him up front and do it all he's close to 20 he's thick that girl thick <laughs> that girl thick oh 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 calm down now calm down <laughs> there he is. Ooh, he's mad. Oh yeah. There you go, y'all. That's a nice thicky thick. There you go. That's good quality catfish right there. He not uh Justin, what would you call that one? Is that a fun sizer? Or no, that's a just that's a kayak catfish dink. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I saw him bring in some fun sizers. Uh, I don't think it was on this video. The, the oh, he's twisting up. He's, he's gonna rip your hand off. <laughs> that there's a fun sizer right there. He, he said fun sizer for sure. Yeah, bigger dink. That's what he calls it. That's a bigger dink size right there. Was all again. Hey man, cut your hook off and put it in the frame. <laughs> 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 I can't believe that Justin is. Never mind. I'm not going to ruin his game for him. Now, that's an awesome idea, man. He's got... Y'all, check out Kayak Catfish. He's got um auction. His hooks are auctioned on eBay. Check that out if you want some memorabilia from the biggest fish caught on YouTube. What's up, Tree Limb? I'm waiting on one of these front ones to go down. I feel it. Next one's going to be the 40-pounder. Yikes, no ripping body parts off. Good golly. No glove, Jeremy. We got some gloves around here somewhere. Not tonight. They around here somewhere. I have to get us a really big one. Hook a hook. 144 people watching. Yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah, I, some people, Jeremy was mentioning, yeah, moving the baits worked. And I, I just, you know, we moved them baits and when we pulled them in, we had several with no, uh, no, no baits on it. So that that there is 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 worth it. It went five minutes in that rod. Mm-hmm. Five minutes and the rod got hit. Yeah, I'm looking for that donkey bait right there. There's Kayak Catfish's link. Y'all go check him out. I'm sure everybody in here's already subbed. It's my favorite channel to watch, y'all. He consistently catches big fish and teaches you how to do it. <laughs> not as much, not, not a. I can't say as much for for this channel but we have fun anyway <laughs> just a matter of time, <laughs> a, matter of time. Yeah. a screamer yes he does said kentucky catfish chris you gotta find some better channels to watch come on man 
Just take the compliment. <laughs> he catches him golly whoppers. Nah, man, he's living the dream, y'all. That's the dream to, to, you know, YouTubers, most of us, is to one day do it for a living, man. That's awesome. I was so happy when he said that he was going to do it for a living. It's hard work, though. You got you to gotta catch fish consistently. Yeah, he does. You just hook set. There you go, Justin. I got you a subscriber. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for that live bait to go down Either the live bait or the donkey bait If you're catfishing and your hands don't bleed You ain't doing, you ain't doing it right I guess so yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather not bleed yeah. I do have a glove somewhere around here It's under one of these seats or It's actually probably behind that captain's chair right there gives me flack for using the glove sometimes too nah man use the glove don't don't get your hands ripped up right exactly or just to be an entertainer if you can do both guarantee success yeah yeah i'm sure a lot of people you know just don't charge me a commission on that new sub you already owe me money for being a super moderator remember <laughs> i'll send i'll send my uh i'll send my invoice to your p.o box <laughs> uh time to start bottling monster slime <laughs> there you go justin there's your next business venture <laughs> catch two or three fifties a night your hands are chewed to pieces yeah big mike man big mike you need a glove that's an unpaid intern position that's what they tell me but i think i was i think i was promised a monetary supplement for that or something Ain't nothing free. This America. <laughs> this America right here. All right, Blue Cat Rod, let's go. Whomp. Justin don't even need uh, 17 rods to catch fish. <laughs> oh, man. I use gloves for 10-pound cats. We got grippers for those. Usually anything around 10, 15 pounds or under, them, uh, those plastic grippers work pretty well. You left it at the house last trip, man. I don't know how your, I don't, Mike, I don't know how your back can stand pulling them fishing through that current, man. That's nuts. One day a week fishing. Mm. Hundred seventy three thumbs up. Hmm? Doing good tonight. Mm -hmm. Mr. Duggar's in the house. I just got a text message from my buddy saying, I'm proud of you. You wore no gloves this time. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the man alone. <laughs> that blue cat rod got a Steve Douglas size bait. Steve Douglas or kayak catfish. It's got a shad head on it about that big. I've never had anything eat it. I fish with those shad heads for uh, you vote for Justin to be a moderator. I'll make him a moderator if he wants. What's up, Big Skip Fishing? I pay for it the next day, I'm sure. Wow, chat's rolling. Wow, that's fine. Uh, trust me, I'm tired. I ain't even 10 yet. I'm still going to bed. Good night, y'all. Night, Chrissy. It's hard to find good child safe channels on YouTube. Thank you to all that you do. Yeah, man, no problem. Rolling chat. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There you go. Done. Because Chunky said so. Ah. Jeremy, sing a song with Palmetto. Sing. You and me going fishing, fishing in, in the dark. dark. Lying on our back looking up at the stars. <laughs> Where the green grass grows. But turn it in. <laughs> uh was child friendly to a kayak guy. <laughs> All right, Haz. See you, man. Oh, he said, but but I'm a night owl. Yeah. Ow ow. You and me going fishing in the dark. Your PC fun code still works. Yep. 
Viewers are dropping fast with that singing. <laughs> I got to do something, man. Kaya Catfish live streams and, and Chunky live streams, man. Especially when Chunky's on the boat. It's like a fish will go down, he'll talk for three seconds, and then boom, another one will go down. He comes back. Thanks for the content, Cash. Oh, raw down. <laughs> Jeremy can be the backup dancer for Kevin. There you go. There you go. Ready? Bro. You and me going fishing. <laughs> He's loosening up a little bit there, guys. <laughs> Flat Rock, what's up? It's about as loose as I get sometimes. <laughs> yeah, Justin's channel is, is kid-friendly until... Until he gets uh, spammers in there, then he starts, <laughs> he goes a little wild. <laughs> he goes a little wild. Hey, he's just being himself. Can't blame the man for being himself. Jeremy got a buck dance. <laughs> Love the channel before you deleted it. Huh? Dallas Smith, loved the channel before you deleted it. Haven't seen it in a while. I hadn't deleted nothing. <laughs> Yet yeah, we're still at it. You want to gain a lot of viewers fast, fry up some bacon live. Ooh. Oh, real. Kai Cafe said real. <laughs> Two fish, one cup. Was he clogging? Real isn't always G rated, yeah? Yeah. Fishing a little bit different in the Carolinas, yeah. That's true. What did, what did Catfish Dave call it? The Tennessee is the, the Tennessee River is the Magic Kingdom. We're more like, uh, well, we got carowinds here. <laughs> yeah. We're more like, we're more like the uh, the merry-go-round at the playground down the street. <laughs> yeah, it can be like that at times. <laughs> I got sand in my shorts. We got gar popping around here. There's little little baby needle nose gar about this big, about eight to ten inches. Furry three twenty five though. What's up, Robbie? Melissa Haydoll, Dan's Creations. What's up, Dan? The wind is starting to blow. Yeah. <sighs> All right, come on, fish. Is Vonnie in the house? Vonnie Pantaloons? There she is. Motor Red! <laughs> I want that blue cat rod to go down. Either that or that live bait. That center rod's got live bait on it. The one right behind Jeremy's head. Ooh, that wind is kind of chilly. Them bar, them gar are great bait. I've never used one for bait. Yeah. I ain't using that. Never tried it. Come on, Mr. Catfish. Yeah, I know, we need another one. I head. mean, we just did, did just catch one, but you got to keep the momentum going. A big flathead. I really thought that big, that big blue, uh, that blue cat was a, a flathead. Y'all, if you're just coming in, we caught, we caught a, uh, we got five fish, but the biggest one was 29 and a half pounds, and I mean he was strip dragged three or four times, didn't roll at all, had a slow rod take down like a flathead, and just stayed down, and I was like, this has got to be. A flathead. It's got to be. Pulled it up and there was a big blue. Which I'm, you know, it's a good fish, but I think it might be a record for fish caught on palmetto. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> nah, man. In the winter, in the winter, um, last winter, I caught, my record was 15. My record's 15. In January, I caught 15 in one day on a live stream. But the biggest one was only like 23 or 24 pounds though. But this boat, boom, motor red. Y'all are an adorable duo. Aw, we're adorable. Hey, there we go. Hey, look at that. Win. Bonnie says it, 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 <laughs> it, it sticks. We're adorable. Aww. Nine for you is your, that's, that's awesome though. You catch big, they're probably like all 40, 50 pounds. 
Ooh, it's getting chilly. 15, not 50, no. No, 15, it was in January. Oh, and I was about to say this boat, what's up JP3? This boat is about to go to the shop in a couple weeks and I'm getting an enclosure put on it. That's right, a full enclosure. So that way Kevin don't have to wear any bibbers. I don't have to wear any long johns. I can wear a hoodie and some jeans and have my buddy heater. That's it. Be perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna be toasty. I gotta get off here. All right, thanks for stopping in, Justin. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's cool to see, uh, you know, big YouTube channels like that pop in and say hello. Buddy heater. Yeah, buddy heater. You don't know what a buddy heater is? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So ready for cool weather. That's Robbie Wright. Sweet dog. Whispers to the chat. Guys, Vonnie is here. Convince her that me getting a boat is a good idea. I mean, I don't have to whisper that. That's yeah. It's a good idea. That's always a great idea. Especially if you got a place to park it. Yes. <laughs> Chunky said caught 15 last night and it was a snow, slow night. <laughs> that, that sounds like a troll fee right there. Doesn't that sound like a troll fee? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. I think Uncle Steve, if he was here, he would say, yeah, that's a troll fee, Elston. Uh, Any flatheads, Chucky? No, he did not catch a flathead. Well, I don't know. I went to bed. What's up, Maurice? Maurice Jody says she mailed your shirt and I mailed your hooks, so you should be getting them here in the next few days. I'm about to pack my stuff so I can spend a night out fishing tomorrow. Awesome. Good luck. Potomac is loaded. It is. It is like if you want to start a live stream catfishing channel, the Potomac River is the place to move. <laughs> like if you need a formula for a successful live stream fishing channel, there you go. Boom. Trophy paid. <laughs> Thanks, Chunky. Shade Tree. Go get them, Kevin. We try. Can confirm. Ate fish from the bank of the Potomac last night. It was slow. Yeah. Yep. Trying to trade my 19 foot javelin for a pontoon to enclose for the winter. I can't wait. Like I, like as soon as I get it back, dude, don't send any more lives to the Potomac. We have enough. <laughs> what do you think Chunky feels like? <laughs> Chunky was the only live stream game in town. Boom! Prepaid troll V. Mike, you never troll me. You're too much of a nice guy, man. Big Mike is a nice guy, y'all. And he catches giant fish. Not like, not like, I mean, Chunky catches good fish too, but Chunky's not as nice as Mike. <laughs> yeah, Chunky is like the only live stream game in town. And then like everybody started popping up. He's like, oh my gosh. Hitting the Kentucky River tomorrow. Awesome. Is that thing slowly going down? Yeah, it's been getting tapped a little bit. What well, if it's a flathead just sitting there? What's up, Kane? Sitting there with it in his mouth. Everybody says they do that. I've never witnessed it. But they say they'll pop it. They'll suck the bait in and just sit there with it. We're back from eating. How was IHOP? Was it all you imagined? Hopping to fish from, hoping to fish from live on the Wheeler tomorrow night. Wheeler's got big fish too. I think, isn't that where Betty caught her big one the other day? Two stands, you missed it, dude. I slimed it. We slimed it. We got a, we got a 30 pounder basically. It was a half pound short of a 30 pounder. Let's see. Chucky, what's up? Get your hands out of your pockets and catch a fish. 
<laughs> He's talking to you. You can't see my hands. Oh, man, it was so good. Nice. What's up, Mike? Oh, man, got to go back and watch. Yeah, it was uh, over an hour ago. But the, the Uncle Lou's rod went down. It was a slow takedown. Me and Jeremy both thought it was a giant flathead because he wasn't rolling or nothing. And uh, he just stayed down, kept pulling drag. He went for two or three runs. And it was just a really strong 29 and a half pound blue cat. <laughs> yeah, y'all check out two stand shirt. I got a Jeremy's Tournament Cat shirt, too, but it's gray, so you probably won't see me wearing that one too much. <laughs> I'll wear it. I'll wear it on a live stream one night. Maybe I'll wear it on Sunday. How about that? That sounds good. I'll wear it on Sunday for the ladies' tournament. Or when I lose a bunch of weight. One of the two. <laughs> that ain't happening. My wife cooks too good. All right. We need another one. We need another one. That's pretty cool, though. You caught a catfish with kayak catfish was in the house. Yeah, man, that was, that's cool. He that's saw cool. you catch a fish. He knows you're legit now. That's what's that. <laughs> there we go. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Ah. Chucky, I hope your uh, leg is healing up, man. You not on the kayak tonight at two stands fishing three? Question mark. How's the fishing? We got five in the boat. Good night, John boys. What size rod do you like using? All of mine are seven foot six. Jeremy's looks like an eight foot. Yeah. How's the football game doing, Mr. Kevin? How's your school doing? Uh, we haven't had a football game. All of ours have been canceled. Guess it's lucky. It's lucky now. It's slimed up. 12 foot heavy for Big Mike. My type of channel. What's up, Bryce? Welcome to the channel. Yeah, if y'all are just joining us, if you if you just uh, what's up, Brent? How late y'all fishing? Well, I told I told Jeremy. We probably, what time is it now? Uh, Nine fifty one. I'll probably go live till about ten thirty, um, and then uh, Jeremy's gonna go live so he can get some view time. So I don't know how late we'll stay out here. Um, I need to find Chad to help him win. <laughs> What's up, Chad's advice? Chucky said, I just had my MRI tonight. Hope everything goes well. Tired of seeing everyone catching fish but me. Ouch. Yeah, I know you are, buddy. Is that from him jumping off the, the dock? No, he got in the car. Somebody hit him on his bike. Oh, man. No, Chucky. Oh, Chucky. Chucky Oovery. Oh, not you talking about Chucky. Oh, yeah, not right. Chunky. Oh. Not Chunky Cats. Chucky Oovery. Uh, so, so no, not the egg. Yeah, this is the spit. <laughs> Thank you for not cussing. Appreciate you. If you watch your line close enough, you can tell when the flathead takes it. Awesome. Jeremy, start now. Save us from the singing. <laughs> Just for that. Motor red. Careful, you got to pay another trophy. <laughs> really, that's a random name. What's a random name? Kev, keep singing. Thanks, FLF. <laughs> oh, the cat's in the cradle in the silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy blue and man in the moon. When you're coming back, Dad, I don't know when. We'll be together then. I know we'll have a big fish then. <laughs> Little boy blue, that's better. You don't like motoring? Come on, shade tree. Did Jeremy take you out of his spot or y'all 10 foot to the left of it? <laughs> <laughs> he came out here on Wednesday night and didn't do well. Chucky knows me well. <laughs> you sound like a mix between Fergie and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still confused. How did motor and things start? It just popped in my head. Oh my God. Bex told me about camping. I can't wait. Yes. So, um, just for any of you who are wanting to know, oh, OMG, Kevin, you're Jeremy Stevin. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sacre bleu! Oh, it's a catfish! It's a catfish on the line! Get it, Bex! <laughs> so, I don't know why it just popped in my head. I was just, I just, it just popped in. Motoring! But it wasn't as, it wasn't as jazzed up at the time. It was more subdued. And I think Uncle Steve, uh, Paint Services by Steve, he really, uh, like, he really liked it. And he was like, yeah, yeah. And so I just kept doing it. Kept doing it and doing it. And it's now developed into more of a scream than anything. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a blue cut fish. <laughs> Get it, Jeremy. <laughs> No real loss, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Johnny Cash. Uh, the Ring of Fire. I, I don't know the lyrics to it. I know I've heard. I know the rhythm to Ring of Fire. Got to have a boat for the meet and greet. Nope. You, I, you can come jump on mine, and I'll take you to the island. So, um, on October twenty second, twenty third, and twenty fourth, we're uh. Thanks, Robbie. Robbie, you're, uh, be sure to drop a link to your tournament too, buddy. Um, hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, uh, I'm doing a meet and greet down on Santee Cooper on Church Island. It's actually Lake Marion. And so we'll meet up at Hills Landing. Um, what's up, Richard? Uh, he's agreed to let us park there uh, with no ramp fee. And he also lives on campus of the um, boat landing. So your car will be secured. All you need to do is bring your camping gear and your fishing gear if you want to fish and whatever you want to eat. They do have a restaurant there. Um, it's not open all the time. And there's not really any grocery stores within half an hour. So you got to bring your food and stuff um, and your camping gear. And that's it. Uh, they have tackle. They have um, they have snacks and stuff at the at the um, shop. But and I'm, I'm going to do a couple of I'm going to do a big meal each night. So, you know, maybe I'll do like a perlo or not a perlo. That's rice. Um, uh, a boil, like a low country boil. Oh, that sounds good, man. Yeah, some sausage and shrimp and stuff. So we'll do a community meal that night just for everybody to get around the fire and everything. But, uh, you know, breakfast and lunch and stuff is on your own. Are you going to use some lake water? No. <laughs> no. But um, you do have to get on a boat to go to the island. But uh, Jeremy's going to be there. He's got a boat. I think Jimmy from Fishing and Gear is coming. He's got a boat. I have a boat. I'm probably going to be on the island camping Thursday night. So if y'all want to come up earlier one night ahead yeah, and camp an extra night, then you can. Um, there's no electricity. There's no running water. There's no uh, toilets. Nothing. You're out there. It's, 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 it's roughing it. But I do have a pee palace that I can set up. But uh, you need to bring your own um, dookie bags. <laughs> <laughs> the biodegradable biodegradable uh bags meant for you to do your business in and basically you'll just bury them on the island see this kind of stuff don't happen in cali <laughs> well i gotta yeah poop in the woods that's right everything's everything's all natural what the fish natural <laughs> What the fish snatch did he say? <laughs> dookie bags. Hashtag dookie bags. Hey, look. Listen, I don't shy away from using the bathroom. I don't know if anybody knows what drum and bugle corps is, but I traveled the country with 180 um, girls and boys, and we, we rode tour buses and stayed in um, high school gymnasiums, and we went around and did shows around the whole country. Man, what's up, Gadget? Welcome, buddy. Um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's not the takedown we want. No. 
We need a walk. Anyway, I've had to use the bathroom in front of a line of 10 guys with no with no uh, stall door <laughs> in my early 20s. So. It happens. Yeah. I mean, everybody poops. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Please add shovel to the dookie bag. <laughs> Bring your dookie bags. <laughs> now everybody put poop emojis. I mean, that's the first. Think about it. Think about it. Especially, and, and I don't mean to, I'm not being sexist or nothing, but I, I'm just talking about my my wife. I mean, the first thing she thinks about is where am I going to use the bathroom? And she's talking about number one, T-shirt or T-shirt or else. <laughs> I'm not sharing my poop shovel. <laughs> Hey Bex, can I borrow your 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 dookie shovel? <laughs> Sacre bleu! <laughs> oh, pooping in jail holding cell, twelve by twelve. Yeah, I never had to do that. Y'all doing that next weekend? No, Chucky, that's in October. That's uh, which is already cool. So I hope it doesn't cool down too much more. It it's October twenty third, twenty second. I think around there check out my website y'all um the website's in the description you can read about it and i'll put the flyer i'll advertise it again so kevin you giving the iron queen a medal or a trophy a trophy a trophy yes we all poop needed that dookie bags <laughs> i do have a pee palace uh the pee palace is awesome thanks robbie there's the website 12 by 12, you got the big room. <laughs> Mike, Mike Snow. Maybe we need to move the rods again. We moved the rods last time. One went down. I think they're just moving like they're feeding. Yeah, they're just moving around. They're just moving there's around. No, there's no one. Palmetto, you got really excited talking about these bags. And you almost had chunky energy for a minute. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Robbie. Doing a great job. What did I just come into? And y'all didn't like my dad jokes, but y'all talk about Dookie. <laughs> oh, wait. If y'all come camping with me, so y'all only see what's on the live stream. Uh, you know, once, once I get cranked up, it's hard to turn me off. It's hard to turn it off. Oh, man. I can host a workshop on how to pee outdoors for the ladies. Austin said, uh, if I get paid, I'll dig holes in the back of the <laughs> Richard says, I always carry a personal pop-up. Yep, that's right. See, Richard knows. He fishes He fishes with his lady, with his wife, and he's got a pee palace. That's what Anna calls it. But you can check out those pee palaces. I'll actually, you know what? I'll put a link. I'll put a link to the pee palace on the website. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Chucky, you should come out, man. And, uh... But Chucky? Yeah, he yeah. said he, he might come out camping. But, uh, no. We, well, we caught one, Anna. We're talking about pee palace and poop and dookie bags now. But, uh... <laughs> the thumbs down are probably going through the roof. <laughs> I come out here to watch fishing. You're talking about dookie. <laughs> but, uh, ask Anna. Once I get started, it's hard to stop. But uh, I'll put a link on there. I think they're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Put a quarter in your dookie bag. Some guy in a metal detector is picking up. No, they're biodegradable. Those bags break down over time. That way you don't got to take it with you. Just for pee. Nah, they just fishing now, Anna. Yeah, we ain't catching. Although we did move the rods around, and five minutes later, one went down, so... Pooping, farps, and burps, boys. Yeah, right. Let Anna tell you about... Never mind. Anna's going to come out that last night, that Saturday night. Gadget said, let the logs float. <laughs> Jeez. Someone needs to set up a dookie bag and shovel in a rental concession stand for a dollar. Oh, my gosh. We're going off snarts and sharks. Uh, uh oh Bryce, oh, Bryce Blankenship, what happened? Uh, what would you do if Vonnie and I roll up straight up porta potty? I'd wonder how you're going to get it to the. 
<laughs> They're gonna get it out there. <laughs> Bryce probably got tired of us talking about Dookie. <laughs> mm. oh. Thanks. Uh, I'm not gonna say your name for for taking care of whatever it was. He was on a mission trip one time, and someone gave youth leader a dip. He puked everywhere. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like dip. Keep in mind, a $20 tent is made for smaller people. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're bear size like me, you will, you will touch the side of the tent. <laughs> but it's definitely better than not having one. I'm making a concession stand. <laughs> All right. Is that light right in your eye? Oh, no, it's good. No, it's good. It's good. Oh. Whew, we need a takedown. Yes, we do. It's been almost a half hour, or at least a half hour since the last fish. I just looked up Pea Palace and Dookie Pass. <laughs> it was on a cut. <laughs> Makes me wonder what kind of monster you're hunting tonight. Oh no. <laughs> Get the big boy pop up. I might. I might. I'll bring both of them out there. They, they fold up into a little circle. If you've seen like um 100 percent serious. <laughs> uh let's see. What's up, man? Just join. What's the temperature there? It's 56 degrees and VA. Wow. This show just turned to crap. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. Uh, it is probably in the low 60s right now. Low 60s on Lake Moultrie in South Carolina. I haven't caught a fish in about a half hour and things have gone downhill. Jeremy did not put this in the plans for tonight. <laughs> Listen, he's seen my live streams before. He knows, he knows where they can go sometimes. Mm, Bonnie, I love it. <laughs> I can see the look on Bonnie's face. Bex, I, I'm just not, I'm not seeing anything. Dookie bag, what's a dookie bag? <laughs> I will definitely share the links on all of these things um, so that you all can pick them up. If I'm excited that so many people are interested. I think Catfishing Katie Collins is coming all the way from Kentucky. Really? Wow. She was the first and only person to sign up on the website. I mean, I knew some people would come. He's quiet. Ask Jeremy about the truck or the jig break. <laughs> what is that, Austin? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell oh, him. Man. Oh, it was just a car. A truck that came by during the live stream, and it sounded like a fart. <laughs> it, was a <laughs> boom, boom, boom. it was super quiet out there, and it was a boop, 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 boop. And Austin's like, what was that? <laughs> uh, Jeremy just forgot to hit the mute button. <laughs> yeah, that's all it was. We know how you feel on fishing being slow. Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's Carolina Real Screamers. It happens. They had a rough day and evening. But it's <sighs> just that little flathead here. What's Jeremy's channel name? It's in the description. It's Jeremy's Tournament Cats. I put the link in the description, so all you got to do is go down there. If you X out of chat, if you're on the phone, there's a little down arrow right over there where the X was. And you'll be able to see his link. Hey, does anyone know how to share a profile post via link from Facebook? Shouldn't be too hard. Thought you were fishing for catfish, not sour chubs. <laughs> not sure what a sour chub is, but doesn't sound good. <laughs> Don't, sound good, Don't sound good, does it? He's changing his name soon. Jeremy Jake Break. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy Jake Break. Yeah. <laughs> There's the link. Thank you, Bexy Bexy. Had me rolling out there that night. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Bex and Bonnie, I, I'm I'm really happy that you you two are thinking about coming down. That'll be awesome. We caught some good fish. So if you want to see, here you go. If you want to see where we'll be camping, um, I did a video last October, and it's it's called Bank Fishing on an Island for Catfish, something like that. Um, but it's got a picture, 
it's got a picture of um, one of Patriot James floats. It's a pink one. So that's the thumbnail. Everybody's saying they um, they subbed. Oh, nice. Can't get right. Here, kitty, kitty, get on my hook. What's up? Welcome to the channel. I think we need to recast baits. Portable toilet. There you go. Chunky's got it. Chunky's got the link. All right, let's recast. All right, all right. Yeah, man, that chicken's been working, so. Yeah, we got chicken on. Oh, they just... Yeah. Still nothing on the donkey bait, y'all. <laughs> yeah, try to launch this thing. Yeah, me and Kevin's gonna wrestle with that rod good. Uh. Well, now it's my turn. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's All tangled up. All right, I'm gonna um, grab the back ones and recast them, y'all. Got that pink line. Great. Googly moogly.
it's up to you if you want to move later, though. Yeah, we'll give it another you know? I mean, we, half hour. We got good service, though. And we're back. Man, we lost 15 people. What is the island called? Church Island, Austin D. Church, church, church Island. Got 102 people still watching though. 190 thumbs up. Chucky Oovery said, here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Uh, where's the spot at? What are we gonna do with Chucky? Yeah, Chucky, where's the spot? Where's the spot? I can get, I can get some of that spot. I can get some of that spot. <laughs> Where'd you get that great googly moogly fishing line? <laughs> uh, great googly moogly fishing line. Y'all gonna be pooping at church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that, that little brim. There's Mark Colburn. What's up, Mark? We're, we listen. The chat, the chat is on fire now that Mark Colburn's in the house. There you go. The That's master. a celebrity right there. Some Chucky, fishing. he said. Uh, uh, Jeremy, he said. Uh, I told Jeremy where the spot was. Chucky said. Oh yeah. This spot's been okay. I don't know if we can get. Oh, the pink that. line. That's reaction tackle braid. Reaction. I just bought a. I didn't really care what color it was, and I just. That one. Huh? I'm gonna cut that one up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he done made a mess. Yes, at least you're alive, that's for sure. What's up, Mark? I don't chime in much. I like watching your streams. Nine in full in full full screen. Nice. Alright, Robbie. Take care, buddy. Yeah, the action kind of died down. I don't blame people for checking out. But here in a minute, though, one's going to go down. If you're fishing in a boat, you can get to the spot. <laughs> what is that? What he said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we'll probably... Yeah, that makes sense. We'll probably chill out here for another half hour. We might go check out, run some radar. The lady of the house likes pink lime. Well, there you go. Reaction tackles some pretty good stuff. They sell quality stuff. Come in. I'm set up. There we go. Lines out. Kevin, I sent you a ridiculous 90 style graphic of your big fish today. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, cats. We're tired of your jello, and the lemonade was a killer. We tried your jello. Awesome. Marianne Ferguson. We tried. I thought you said you were tired of your jello. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the jello and lemonade work. But pl I think plain chicken works just as well, though. Uh, we've caught three, four out of our five fish on chicken today. Yep. We had a big one that came on chicken. The only one that didn't come on chicken was the flathead. I still think you can catch flatheads on chicken, though. Mm-hmm. If the other if the other fish like it, why wouldn't the flathead like it? You know. Chucky, tell me where the spot is. The Carolina real screamers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. Yeah. It's getting a little chilly. Might have to put the the hood a on. I lost your link. Want to ask about your about hiring? Huh? I lost your link. Want to ask you about hiring. 
Hmm. Confused. Me and you need to go one day night trip. Yeah, man. If you're talking to me. Oh, I'm not a guy, and I'm sorry, Marianne. Yeah, um, you in South Carolina, you have to be licensed, and you have to uh, you have to have a captain's license. And uh, trust me, you don't want me to you don't want me to guide you. But there are plenty, plenty of awesome guides on Santee Cooper. Plenty of awesome guides. I've I've only been out with one, and that was um, I went out with Paul Blackwell, Mr. Gadget, actually, who's who's in here. He bought a trip and invited me out. It was fun. Um, we didn't catch much fish, but Paul Blackwell, Fish on Guide Service. Chucky, will you recommend somebody? Or you you got somebody you recommend? Uh, probably Kevin Davis. Kevin, da Kevin, Kevin Guides? I think every now and then he does. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah, Paul Blackwell's Fish on Guide Service. Um, I always recommend him because I did a giveaway, and he gave me a good deal on a guide trip for my giveaway. So I'm trying to give it back to him. I, I always send people to him first. Rob Uncle. Rob Uncle. I know Chucky knows him. Rebecca just got her captain's license. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I don't want the stress of being a guide. <laughs> I mean... You got to work really hard. Father and Son Outdoors, there's one. Paul Blackwell is, um, he's trophy catfishing. I've seen their boat today. Yeah, Mark oh. Lawson are good too. There you go. There you go. Gators Outdoors Adventures. He's got a YouTube channel. Yeah, Gator. Rebecca is a boss. Boss. Come on now, Rod. Brad Taylor. There you go. There you go, uh, Mary. You got a whole bunch of recommendations there. The chat is coming through. Awesome. Now we need the catfish to come through. These mother jokers, man. <laughs> Just need a Frenchman. We need the blue catfish or the flathead to come out here. By the line. I'm glad I'm glad Steven has a good sense of humor. Otherwise he'd probably be cussing me out. Unsubscribe. Yeah, Thumbs he's a, down. He's hilarious. Steven he's so is good. funny. <laughs> I'm sure we only see like his happy side, but I wanna believe that Steven is always in a good mood. <laughs> it seems like he's one of those guys that's just eternally happy all the time. But I know, I mean, everybody's gotta have a bad day, but that's a compliment when you when you feel like that. Sunday is lady final, that's right. 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. He's always like that. I do love that French man. He's always like that. Well, sac Ray Blur. Um Yeah, so the ladies decided since you know, we have limited time. There's so many tournaments going on. 9-11 uh, is tomorrow. And so uh, we're going to do we're going to do 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the two biggest catfish by weight wins. Um, so the ladies decided that. They came up with that. So the two biggest catfish from 4 to 9 by weight will win the championship. So... It's going to be fun, um, and we, we know it's going to end at 9, <laughs> unless I did put a stipulation in there. So um, if no fish are caught, and this is, I hope this doesn't happen, the Potato River better, better come through. But uh, if there's no fish caught at 9, then we will go to sudden death. And, and the first fish caught, no matter what, no, no matter what size catfish, will win. Let's see, Chucky said, I'm going to start a guide service where people pay me over the phone and drop them a spot. <laughs> you better hook up. Mark said he's in. I don't know why people turn their noses up at chicken. Yeah, it's just not a natural bait, they, they say. Carolina Real Screamers for the win. They're fishing the PD instead of coming down here. 
Yeah, I, I really hope it doesn't go to sudden death. <laughs> I doubt it's going to happen, though. I mean, you got three people. Two of them are fishing the Potomac River. You know, he's got to be a tiny cat in there somewhere, you know. <laughs> got 196 thumbs up, four more to a hundred. Honestly, it's anyone's game on Sunday. Excellent lady anglers, absolutely. I think it's gonna be fun. Mm. Jeremy said this spot was 100%, man. Hey, it was 100%, we got five. <laughs> 100% chance of catfish. It happened. Them 50 pound flyheads don't show up all the time. Nah, it's been a good night. Even if even if those are the last kid catfish we caught, it's, it's a good night. Yeah. I'm sure. Have you checked your subscriber count? Uh, yeah, I was looking at it. Was looking How good. much you gone up? Trying to get uh old Jeremy here some subs, y'all. Check them out in the description. Catfish pluck ducks and geese, especially babies, to eat. Chicken really isn't that stretch. Yeah, oh, good nice. point. Twelve. Twelve? Yeah, that's really good. Hey, it's PD Fishing's in the house. Yeah, man. What's up, PD? I ain't seen him in a while. Marianne Ferguson, can you suggest where to get good map of the two lakes that shows depths? Honestly... Your best bet is if you have a smartphone. Yep, there you go. Bex just said it. Go to Navionics. It's $14 a year. And you get all the all the lakes in the United States. All the lakes and rivers in the United States. You can't beat it. I mean, $14 a year. Yeah. And you got the map on your phone any anytime you want. And you can drop pins on it. And you can mark your spots. What's up, Alvin Lewis? You got a depth finder though, that Navy on Jojo G. Ship. Yep. Yeah, that's a really good one. Not my depth finder though. My depth finder sucks. <laughs> What's up from Texas? Are they biting? They were earlier. We got five fish. For anybody who's just coming in, we got a, a 15 pounder blue, an eight pound blue, a three pound flathead, and uh, we got a 29 and a half pound blue. And then, what was that? About a 20 pound blue? Yeah. Another 20 pound. They do have a few charts that are good to have. Awesome. Yeah, it's always good to know what the water looks like, you know. Mm, I use Navionics on my phone. All We used it today. I found this ledge on Navionics. But you get it for two weeks for free to try it out. There you go. Good point. Good point. Back over 100. Back down to 98. <laughs> Y'all check out Jeremy's channel. It's in the it's in the description. Ooh, that wind is chilly. Woo! <laughs> and that's the other good thing. Even if you're a bank fisherman, you can benefit from Navionics from the bank because you can see what you're throwing into. Heck and Cali, Dookie may cause cancer. What? <laughs> I think, I think that uh, that hooked up catfishing is way behind in the stream. <laughs> He's still talking about Dookie. We don't left that subject. <laughs> Got Jeremy one more. There you go. There you go, y'all. I appreciate it. Woo! Might have to put on that hood A. That's yeah, a fan yeah. fancy hoodie is a hood A. Yeah, it's kicking up. You know, even if we were to move, we wouldn't have to move far. Yeah. That part of the show got flushed. <laughs> that could be your quick tip Navionics while fishing from the bank. There you go. There's your first video right there. What happened? Quick tip. Oh, there we go, yeah. Fishing from the bank. Leave that subject till in the undies. Sold my old Dargle and got me a tune. Really like your setup, bro. Thanks, JoJo. Yeah, I just did a good video on it, if, if you've seen it. Got a bunch of views. Got like 12,000 views. It's pretty good for me. Yeah, y'all, it's real nice. 
but it's really dirty right now, but it's a catfishing boat. We pulled up an illegal trot line today. We were fishing for brim over here by the short stay wall, and I got hooked up on it. And somebody had just left it there. And uh, it, it's been there for so long, like the hooks were rusting off of it. Yeah. But we pulled it up, and it had like a whole block and tackle on it for the weight. <laughs> and so we dropped that back down. It's too heavy for the boat. I don't know, maybe lines. We got all the we got all the line out of the water, all the trot line out of the water. And it's got like ten or fifteen pyramid sinkers on it, so <laughs> got some lead from it. Oh man, maybe over there. Yeah, maybe their lines beat spot back there. Yeah. Got a hundred ninety six thumbs up. 98 people watching, 84.90 in Super Chat. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. I hate that. Yeah. Now y'all boom it up for them. I don't really mind trot lines as long as they're legal. You know, and they're and they're not like they paid their their you know fees and everything. Because they're it's a lot better than it used to be. It used to be down here, people would just trot line it to death. But now you you know is it it's so much to do commercial lines and you can you have so many regulations now that it's it's really cut back a lot. Come on, fish! Come on! One hundred ninety-eight thumbs up. We need two more to get to two hundred. Anybody a new subscriber tonight? Say hello. We'll welcome you to the to the catfish fam. Got a bunch of people and not left in the water. Yep. Yep, we got it out. 202, we did it. We 200 go. thumbs up. <laughs> if you're new, say hello. Say hello, hello. hello. We're on uh, Lake Moultrie in South Carolina. Fishing till... We've been fishing since a little after 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we're, we're sitting in about 10 to 8 to 10 foot of water. We're anchored in. And then right off the front here, it slopes down into a channel. Pretty steep, about 35 foot. And we've got rods cast all around the boat. Jeff's back. And then uh, the biggest one was caught down in the bottom of that ditch and then the rest of them and the flathead was caught in deep water but the rest of them have been caught shallow water so that tells me they've been moving in and out of that channel they're probably all in shallow water now to be honest with you yeah might be but we might move here in just a little bit we just cast these rods out about 15 minutes ago so we're going to give them a little more soak time maybe one more will come out of here I could get my other two channels, Kevin, but they're not modded for trolls. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not worried about it. Basically, I do live streams just to interact with, with you all and live stream fishing anyway. Live stream fishing is a lot of pressure, especially when you got a, a big group of people, you know, if, if it's just a few people hanging out, you know, it's not as much pressure because they, they enjoy talking with you. But what's the biggest of the night so far, Kevin? Well, Dave J, we got a 29 and a half pound blue cat. Really good fight. Really, really good fight. What's the carp like? Blah, 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 blah. What's the carp fishing like near the island, Kevin? I've never fished for carp, but it's a very carpy area. It's a very carpy area. You caught a big catfish over there, didn't you? Yeah, so when we went camping, if you watched that video, we caught a 33-pounder that night. We caught a 20-something pound, 28-pound. We caught like a 17 and several that were under 10 pounds. We had, I mean, we did really well. We did really well fishing. Live stream fishing is live stream catching versus live stream catching. Yeah, that's right. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do live stream fishing, 
and and you're gonna do it like chunky cats and and Bex and then you got to catch fish like them or you got to catch giants like Mike <laughs> has does really good too has been doing more of the tournament stuff now though and Mark Mark fishing magician has been in school so he hasn't been going live in a while I don't know how did DMV do the other night. I, he goes live so late, I didn't get to watch him. Yeah, he was late. Yeah. Did he catch anything? Oh, um, I'm not sure. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. Yeah. I know he was saying he was having issues with his bike. Hmm. Phew! I'm gonna grab this hoodie real quick. Yeah, because when we start heading across that lake, it's gonna be <laughs> cold. Grab this hoodie. Soda just fell in there. <laughs> uh, Should have just done this right to begin with instead of trying to cut corners. Heads in the blue. Nice. Send check you through. Huh? Send check you through. <laughs> That's a good spot, though. Oh, he sent you a spot? Oh, cool. Let me go check it out. Thanks, man. One of his, uh, one of his spots there. Oh, it feels better. Oh. Now, how much longer do you want to get this spot? Or yeah, we'll give it 10 more minutes. We put in at Thornley's. Yeah, Thornley so Boat be, Land. It'll be back towards that way. Oh, okay, cool. So. I'm jacked up my tripod. Sorry, y'all, for all the shaking. Let that be a lesson. Don't cut corners. Do things the right way. <laughs> all right. Whew. Yeah, it might be a little shallower over there, you know? Yeah. Try that out. Mm. Got 105 people watching, 210 thumbs up. Y'all, thanks for checking out Jeremy's channel. Um, he's he's just starting out, so he needs all the help he can get. That's right. I'm leaving. That tripod's all jacked up. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I have been impressed. All, light makes a difference, y'all. Like light just makes all the difference in the world. Otherwise, without light, it'd be really grainy and hard to see. Go try a new spot. I know this is catfishing video, but you are up to bull reds and tarpet fishing. Oh, absolutely. Listen, I started out. I started out pan fishing, but in college, I really got into um, really got into saltwater fishing. But it's so expensive. Saltwater fishing is super expensive. The boats are expensive. The fuel's expensive. The gear's expensive. It's just too much. And so now I've made catfishing more expensive than it needs to be <laughs> by buying rods and stuff. But, you know, not near as much as saltwater fishing. All right. I think Jeremy's ready to move to the next spot. So we're going to reel up. Yeah, Chucky, we're going to your spot, buddy. We're going to go to a different spot, y'all. Hang with us if you want to. Oh, Steven, bonjour. <laughs> we're catching the catfish. <laughs> well, we were catching catfish. Now we're catching the breeze. <laughs> we're going to go try to catch the catfish. Same looking crab. He 
even try if I caught something on it. <laughs> Never do. I still got some blood left in it. Ow. Oh, man, why is this thing getting so tangled up? Good. Lost a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. They'll probably be back once we get there. What's up? All right. Bonsoir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to, we can move this back out of your way. Here, tray with me. Come up front. There we go. I better say I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right now, Jim, you better calm down. Nice. Are you going to leave it up while we're going? It's a lot of work to take down them lights. I know, man, I know. <laughs> she got the room, you know. Yeah. Are we good, man? Ropes are up. Rods are up. I'm taking off two times, man. I have a rod for a while. Can't say I've ever done that. <laughs> 30 mile an hour. Talk about dragging baits.
All right, we're on the roll. Looks like a nice boat, thanks. If you want to host me versus Chucky, that'd be pretty cool. Le Beau Bateau! Yeah, we're motoring on out of here, y'all. Motoring! Yeah, I'm just going to take it slow, y'all. We got these lights up and that hat is dope. Thanks. I got a coupon code in the description. Is this better, Steven? Paz de Puerte de Moulinier de Fish. We're going pretty much across, not across the whole lake, but. A good couple miles. Catfish clothing, that's right. I like it. We oui. Sacre Blur. Kevin got a coupon code for everything. <laughs> How deep? Uh, it's 54 foot right here. Boom, 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 Mr. Gadget putting up the PCATS 20 link. Make sure I don't hit that channel marker. There it is. It's right there. Yeah, I got the lights on. Well, I got, I got my graph up and I can see them. See him on the graph, but yeah, it's only deep in this one section of the lake. Everything else is under 40 feet. I need to get something like this and kind of rotate. I don't know. Good. I don't eat on the water because I didn't bring any dookie bags. <laughs> no, I got a bucket down there with a toilet seat on it. Yeah, man, it went up good, real good. Hey, it's a temp day. What's up, man? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, Mike T is posting your link, man. You should be getting some good subs. Chuck, right. so you said he got it on the big screen and on the uh, and the light button. What? <laughs> big screen? Holy cow! Wow! <laughs> Coupon code for the dookie bags? <laughs> We're doing about 12 mile an hour. If you wonder why I'm going so slow, I got a light that goes up about 12 feet. And I don't want it to blow down. Plus it's dork. It's dork out here.
So we're going to Panopolis Point, right? Can we get him a sponsorship for the Duke? For the <laughs> Motorhead! What's your price for flight? Yeah, A12 182Q. We got five fish. We got one that's uh, almost 30 pounds. What's up, Raymond? I think that's it right there. Yeah. Let's see the dock. Yeah, it's all shallow water over there. I think they'd be in shallow water at night. Water's still 82 degrees. Eric Burnside's in the house. I want a uh, Bible on his uh, giveaway. Nice. I need to do I need to do that Sunday show. Jeremy's at 226. Ricky's Creations! Orle, my friend! Yeah, the good thing about these lights is they're not drawing any power from my cranking batteries or trolling motor batteries or nothing. I got a 12 volt deep cycle battery on the floor running one of them. Could be. I didn't even see it, honestly. Yep, looks like a boat. Chucky, man, who else did you tell about this spot? Go to the right or left of that boat. They were a lot closer than I thought. How close are we to the mark he sent you? Huh? How close? Uh, we got to go by the light. Yeah. Yeah, they can't see your boat. There's something wrong with it. 11 foot of water right now. That's a couple of boats. Or one big one. Five foot of water. Five? Six foot. Yeah, we're on that flat. Yep, we're over the top of some stumps. We're good. Stumps are like five or four foot down. 
Say what now? Kind of sitting right where you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's Chucky sitting. <laughs> it's Chucky sitting over there. Yeah, it's all it's all like flats right here. Yeah, he, he put you on the ledge. We're way past that. I want to sit out there a little bit. I'm sure the winds just said it like we go up near the ledge and throw out, we can still get every shower. We're almost there, yo. Everywhere you look, you got the dam. <laughs> yeah. Or you got the snow. Yeah, as soon as we start dropping off, we get close to it. Yeah, I'm going to look for a drop off and we'll. I will go Darla is in the house. What's up, Darla? We're moving spots. We should be here, there in just a minute. Yeah. Six foot of water. See some marks down there. That's a fish. Fish are yellow. it's as on fire yeah right now we're just on a flat so we're just driving until we hit the the and the edge if i had my phone up i'd have navionics up you got navionics on your phone right Got to download it. Can't do that video. There we go. Nine foot, eleven foot. Hey, look at all that activity. A lot of bait right here. You just want to lower the anchor in? Yeah, I'm ready. Just lower it down. Or throw it. Scare everything. So hard to find good help these days. I'm not going to find too much to hang up on. It's probably really sandy down there. I do 
back end is going up the hump right now. How much rope you got left? Probably not gonna hang up on nothing. It's all sand down there, probably. Got it. I'm just waiting on to hang up. You still pulling? I think it's going to be as good as we can get it. All right, all right, all right. Ah, new spot. It's good. All right, let's see what we can do here.
There's two on the back of each bait. Yeah, man, I like this rod though. The rip and lips rod? It's cheap too. Inexpensive. I think it's like $45. And then shipping, it goes up to like $80. <laughs> So I need to come to the cat con. No shipping. <laughs> you're, going, you're going to that, right? Yeah, I'll be at both of them. What reel would you suggest for catch the fever Hellcat rod? And do you like that rod better than the ugly stick catfishing rod? Yeah, that one's out. I was like, oh, I know we didn't try. No. <laughs> um, I've never tried the new ugly stick catfish rod. But I do like the old one. Um, we're about Chucky. How, how far would you say we're from the spot he suggested? Close. 100, 150 yards. There's a boat sitting right there where you told us to go. <laughs> like literally right on the spot. Um, but yeah, Hellcat Rod's great. It's really expensive. That reel sounded like a, a Shimada casting it. <laughs> um, it's really expensive. I don't know if it's worth... I don't know if the Hellcat's worth the price you pay for it. It's pretty. And it's got awesome action. Um, but a reel... I, I, I like the PC funds. I, I have a... I just put an Abu on there because I have an Abu. And my, um, I swear people got GPS on your boat. <laughs> they just probably seen you fishing there, man. But, uh, the PC funds are great, great reels. Uh oh, oh, that's you. I caught a Jeremy. Got it. I was like, dang, we got a bite already. Oh, old Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, one time I had to do a cast out the tree. <laughs> Twice in a row catching me. Big was there. I was like, I got to make a throw. Love the green. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I don't know if they're worth the money, but if you got one, then definitely. Um, I have on mine, I have a um, Abu Garcia carp special because it's green to match the rod. But uh, if you're looking for an inexpensive reel, then um, the PC funds are great. You can get a PC fund with my code. It's CAT18. It's in the description. You can get one shipped for less than 50 bucks. Less than 50 bucks. How long are we going? I don't know. That's up to Jeremy. I think he wants to go live here in a minute. It's up to him. Welcome, Marianne. Hey, Kevin, you threw that one out with it more like this way or down the back this way. 
Um, it's more that way. It hit shallow water, I know that. I'm really enjoying the PC Fun, still getting used to the big bait caster, but it's smooth. Oh yeah, like, I know people like turn their nose up at those things, like that are Abu people and Shimano people. But I mean, you're talking about a high quality reel for under 50 bucks. And I've had I've had mine for over a year. It was a, I wish I had a promo code to, to see Arc. I think Mr. Gadget's got one of those. Yeah, that's the Jeremy's Tournament Cat's link. As soon as he gets his phone cranked up, I'll shut my live stream off. But y'all come over there and support him if you don't mind. Still got 84 people. Remember what I told you, right? <laughs> my stream is like late evening yeah. early evening but uh you know people know that i don't really fish that late <laughs> i heard bait casters were the hardest yeah. uh well i mean if you got a hellcat then you have a bait casting rod uh, i don't think hellcat i don't think they make a spinning version of the hellcat y'all make good fishing buddies you and jeremy could go a long way in my opinion He's a good dude. He's all right. <laughs> hey, uh, Stan, I slimed your shirt earlier, man. I got the I got the hoodie on right now, but but yeah, we slimed it. We got a 29 and a half pound blue earlier, and got some slime on your shirt just for you, buddy. Just for you, Stanley. I got your mug in the other. He got your mug. He opened it the other day on live stream. That's okay, Marianne. If you're new and you want a if you want a spinning rod, I don't think I don't think they make one. There's a boat. There's a boat going across. But Ugly Steak makes a good spinning rod. Um, What's up, y'all? He's got Cat Maxes. Are you live? Uh, yeah, I just started. Okay, cool personally felt more comfortable with spinning yeah all right y'all well i'm gonna end my stream you know i gotta pray us out so heavenly father thank you for this evening thank you for the fish we caught and i just pray you'll keep us safe tonight and bless jeremy and his channel thank you for all you do in jesus name amen y'all check out check out um jeremy's tournament cats and we'll continue the conversation on his channel see ya happy fishing <laughs>